Like, damn, Danny, you looking fine. I said, Yeah, I've been working out and stuff. Haven't eaten McDonald's and stuff. I've been doing crunches and running and stuff. And you were like, Come here, let me feel your butt. And I was like, Joe, people want to know why we haven't done our thing. We've been doing it on the low. Because people don't know. People don't know we've been doing it on the low, baby. Daddy, baby. Daddy, where'd you go? Daddy Joe Daddy Joe Where'd you go? I missed you so And I just wanna be with you again <laughs> Cause you know Oh, you know oh, 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 That no one can touch you like I do Daddy Joe Where'd you go? Where'd you go, babe? <laughs> Daddy Joe. Yeah, Daddy Joe. Say something sexy for him a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Do like a nice, like, sexy voice and tell him where you've been a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I just, uh, I've been in my apartment. Oh, what? Cooking and shit lately. God damn. You been, like, cooking, like, food and shit? Mostly pasta dishes. <laughs> damn. Daddy cooking pasta. Yeah. What else? I had I had cockroaches, uh, and I had to get some traps. <laughs> you got you had cockroaches though. Yeah. I had cockroaches. I'll show you my cockroaches. We, you better know. We got rid of them though. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I needed that on record. Yeah, nah, yeah. You should, you should pr- probably talk to the landlord. Yeah. Get get, get a break a on that. Free month, month or something. Fr- yeah, free month or like yeah. half your deposit back. Something Early. like that. Yeah. Daddy, where'd you go, babe? I really hope like you do get that worked out though. Yeah, I do too, because <laughs> I just thought about that right now. <laughs> it was like a full three weeks of cockroaches. But like were they like were ones that Big can fly? Big motherfuckers, shit? yeah. Oh, they can fly? Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, they can fly. Like 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 you ever have mice in there and shit? No mice, no mice, just roaches. Yeah, ooh, Daddy Joe, where'd you go? People been waiting for a long time. Daddy Joe, I'll show you a cockroach. I'll show you a cock. What's up? I'll show you a cockroach. Ooh. Yeah. I'll show you my cock. You keep, I feel like you keep saying. No, no, no. I, you're not letting me finish. Oh. Yeah, I, cockroach. Got it. Yeah, you know no, that, that, that that makes sense. Show me your cock. Well, well this, this is what I'm talking about here and here. Cockroach. Yeah, I'll catch it for you, baby. That's always saved at Catch the end. your cock with my ass. That one is very specific. No. That one, I caught you. No. <laughs> I didn't do any of that. Catch a cock with your ass. I suck your dick. All right, that one you that, got. That come on, one, that come one, on. that one. That has one. nothing to do with roaches. That one you got me. Jesus. That, that one you got me. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, welcome back to the Low Priority Podcast. I'm joined by Michael, as always. What's uh, going on? Michael is whiter, less glasses. Yeah, and, uh, way and less glasses, way, 100% less glasses. Way less glasses. You have perfect vision, right? <laughs> I'm blind as a bat. I wear contacts. Oh, yeah, that's right. You do wear contacts. Yeah. You ever fall asleep with them things? Fucking all the time. You ever just have to fucking reach back in your eye and get that fucking crusty? It doesn't really, go, <laughs> it doesn't really go anywhere, to be honest. Like it, like I wake up and I just have to do this a lot. Oh, like that's I gotta like blink super hard. You gotta do this fucking thing where you're yeah. just looking up, at, looking up at the sky. That shit is annoying. Yeah. So for everyone listening, Michael's not dead. Um, yeah, he's alive. He's alive. He's just having some uh, healthy issues. So you know, I didn't want to do the show without him, and I threw a hail mary. I I texted Joe at two thirty like in the morning and was like, "Hey, Daddy, 
And he was like, who this? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Danny. He was like, oh, cool. But which one? And I was like, Danny LaFiori. You know, we did we did stuff together. And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah. What's up? And I was like, hey, man, my brother's having some issues. Yeah. And I was like, yo, can you come through and help the boy out and be on an episode of uh, the LaFiori podcast? This is not the new studio. This is my new apartment. And it's fucking ghetto in here. Yeah, there's boxes of shit everywhere. There's boxes of Look shit. Look at that pair of underwear. Yeah, that's mine. Right there. It's, it's Calvin Klein, at least. It is. It is Calvin Klein. I actually have the same ones, and I like those ones because they're black, so when you shit your pants, no one knows. I Oh, my God. I've retired the white underwear. I'm done with that. You know what I'm really into now? These these built-in compression short pants. I like that. It's, oh, I, I'm, I've been trying to stay on top of like running a lot more. Yeah, and I, I see buy, you out there running around on the track all crazy. <laughs> yeah, and I, uh, I, I buy... I'm going to get comfy like a little like yeah. old woman. I feel like girls... Like, they have the best sitting. Oh my god! They have this one, where like they can like sit on their feet. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, let's do I it. I think. Yeah, let's do it. But this is how I like to sit. This is comfy to me. This like, is real comfy. And if this shit is gay, then fucking give me a cock. Yeah, yeah. I'm fuck. Everyone knows I'm gay. Yeah. But you know, like like this with like a glass of wine. Like oh, oh tell, what happened? What happened at school? You know what I mean? Yeah, I can't wait to like like get drunk around my kids. Um. Do you think you'll ever get wasted around your children? 100%, dude. How do you think I'm going to deal with them? I know, it's true. <laughs> I th- the only thing like I'm worried about like when it comes to having kids is that it like You got to pregame a beating, dude. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. I'm going to get drunk before I hit them. Yeah, and like you have to like yell at your parents in the other room that aren't even there first. Duh. And then and then just take it out on your kids. Just like my dad did, dude. Yeah, of course. <laughs> what does your hat say? Waco, Texas? Yeah. Have you been there? Absolutely not. I think there was like murders there, I think. Waco. Yeah. Remember the Alamo. Yeah, I know. What? Is that what this says? No, no, no. Oh, I was going to say, is this like a... Your hat says... I love that you left the house with a hat that you don't even know what it says. I could have been like, yo, like, fuck me in my ass. Magnolia Market and Garden. Pretty... Might as well say fuck me in the ass. Yeah, that's pretty fucking... Sus, yeah. But but, but we're all cool with that. Um, So there's a couple questions I wanted to ask you. First question was, how are you? I'm good, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, just got through that fucking Holland Tunnel, which was like a big battle. But like, we're we're set. You drove the Range Rover. Yeah. What else am I gonna drive? I only have one car. I love that. When when I found out that you bought a Range Rover, <laughs> I love that. When I found out you got a Range Rover, I lost my mind. I was so happy. It could have gotten worse because I did go to Porsche. Woo! What were we looking at? The Taycan. Oh yeah, or, or whatever it's called. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the electric one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't want the fucking the big. What's the what's the like the minivan looking one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The 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 Cayenne. The Cayenne. I yeah. feel like everyone had that, but I I was just wasn't into that at all. But I I I went to Porsche. I was like, oh, I don't know. Let's see. And then uh, I drove it, and it's fast as fucking shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, and yeah. it's silent. Oh yeah, super silent. That but, car is fucking fire though. But everyone has it. The dude, yeah. But the dude who fucking was selling me it was selling me the car. He he got me off of it because I was trying to get a Range Rover for so long, and they just didn't have any of them anywhere. Like, they were like, yeah, we don't have. And also, the shipment that comes in are already bought. Like, people are just fucking buying them without driving them or anything. Were they from Germany? Fucking God, no. I have, I have no idea where Range Rover's from. I, all I know is that they're fucking sick. Those things are airplanes. They're, I mean, I like it. Like, I, I, that's the biggest car I've... Not the biggest car I've ever driven, but, like, it's a big fucking, like, tank, basically. And I enjoy it a lot. I feel very safe in there. What was your first car? Was it that Mazda? It was a Mazda. My first car was a black Mazda, yeah. Black Mazda. Is that the one that got crushed by a car? Absolutely totaled by a drunk man who was just <laughs> probably having trying to have a good night. And, you know, sometimes you go out and you have a good night and then you steal a car and then you drive that car into my car <laughs> and then you flee on foot, which is what happened. That's a real story. And I came back to my car and I went to, I was going to drive to Connecticut to go meet up with Frankie and Espo. Yeah. And I got to my car and I'm like, I'm pretty sure I parked it there. And then the, <laughs> I didn't see it on like on yeah, the yeah. curb. And then I walk over and I go, that's why. Cause it was crushed on either side. Fuck. Cause he hit like the back and side of my car and then the front of it slammed into the front of it. The funniest part about that is that when the, when they came to, cause they have to send someone there to go like, like an insurance claim to make sure that's like, Oh yeah, it is fucked up. He's not lying. I was like, yeah, bro, my shit is busted on both sides. We'll take your pick. <laughs> when they were coming to pick the car up, the guy who was in the tow truck went down the street. And he's like, can you just drive it 
over there. I was like, why? I can't even get the door open. <laughs> why did he ask you to drive it? I did drive it, though. It moved? It moved. But I fucking, I opened the door, and it wouldn't open all the way. So I had to fucking <laughs> crank it. And then Jesus. I had to crank it shut. And I was like, why is this fucker making me drive this thing? Gosh. Then, then what happened after that? Did they give you tons of money? They gave me... Um, no, it was an old car too. Like that was like my my lease was going to be up in like fucking six months anyway, which means I had that car for three years. Okay, and so I was going to get another car anyway. You were going to get another Mazda, I think, right? I don't know. Well, I well, after that, I wasn't really thinking about the cars yet. But after that, um, they gave me like a credit, but it was like maybe like eight hundred dollars or something like towards my next lease because the car was like old and also like I was getting rid of it. Um, and then I, rem- a lot, Mazda. I remember being like, I don't know what car to get. And then I was in Toyota mm. because my rental car was a Toyota like Camry. I like Toyotas. I like yeah. Toyota Camrys. So Prius, I, I love it. I, I, cause I had the Toyota Camry. I was like, this is a nice car, you know? So I was driving that around. So I went to Toyota. First I went back to Mazda and then they, they were trying to get me to pay some crazy shit. And I was like, yo, fuck you guys. I, my mom has a Mazda. My sister has one. I have one. Like you can't hook me up with like Mazda fam. Yeah, something, bro. Keep like, it clean. yeah, like keep this shit under Same like car as my mommy. Yeah, bro, <laughs> <laughs> my mommy. But like, I was like, yo, keep this lease under three hundred bucks or whatever. And they fucked you. Yeah, basically. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna keep looking then. So I went across the street to Toyota, and I was like, this is a nice car. But I was like, I know I've made some money in the last few years. For sure, for sure. Maybe I can get a nicer car. So I called my um, accountant. And I was like, hey, that's, man. That's how you know you're kind of getting rich when you have an accountant. <laughs> I didn't know how much money I had. Like, I didn't you, know if I was stupid. Like, I don't I don't want this to sound, like, weird, but, like, I don't know how many, like, poor people have accountants. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what You know what I'm saying? It's like, we're, you know, like, when you're poor, you're just trying to get by. You're not wearing, you're not passing off fucking uh, Doug Finkelstein how to fucking save your money. Well, I, I, don't, I think it was because I, I wanted to know if it, if the lease was partially, like, a write-off or something. Which oh, he yeah. had said, yeah. So I was like, oh, I was like, so like I'm in Toyota right now, but you think I can get like a nice car? And he's like, yeah, within reason. Like you don't have right. to fucking go get a Ferrari or something. Right. And I was like, no, I have no interest in that. You went full Albanian and went with the white BMW. Yeah, I yeah. did. And I was like, oh, I'll just go to BMW and get a car there. And I, I think that lease was like 800 bucks. I've never seen. I've never seen an Albanian in a car that isn't white. They're all white, bro. All Albanians, they get white cars and they hate. And smoke Marlboro Reds. Yeah. And like, they don't like black people, but they, they use, gl- but they use the N word a lot though. Like with yeah. the A. With the A. With the A. And they grab a lot of women's wrists, I've seen. Yeah, that's a big Albanian. That's a big Baltic not move. S- I'm not saying that they hit them, but they do grab wrists. Yeah, they like to grab wrists. Yeah. And uh, they, they, they do lots of smoking cigarettes and talking very loudly. Yeah, yeah. And they do a lot of like sitting on stoops, but someone's car is playing music. Uh, and it's always like 50 cent. Yeah. Albanians love 50 cent. Of course. Oh, always like crazy. Um, so uh, just just a couple, uh, you know, like catch up things. Yeah. Because um, we've been doing stuff together. We've been making videos together. It's we've, true. We, we've, 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 we haven't fully. Don't even say what I think you're going to say. We haven't fucked yet. No. No. Well, I'm waiting though. Are you waiting? I'm holding out. I'm holding out. Oh, you're playing hard to get. Well, I'm getting married soon, so I have one last fuck. That's true. You know what I mean? That's how that works, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so, but I think that if you're in a relationship and you get a hall pass, it should you should go get it with it. You should let your boy fuck you? Yeah, because, like, then it's just like... <laughs> I feel like... It's not as bad. Dude. I feel like if, if Selena actually gave you a hall pass and you used it on a guy that would be like she'd be like i that's literally all you didn't have to do like i just didn't want you to do that yeah i don't think the wedding would go off no i think that it would you want to hear a story yeah i'm so glad <laughs> i was gonna bring this up on my, uh, i was gonna bring this up at, at, on, at some point but i forgot about it but yeah, i just yeah. i just learned about this the other day apparently I forget who tells me the story or who it's like pretty a distant thing, but let's just say we're going to pretend it's someone that I know. Right. It's not, but like it was cause it's like a run around thing. It's like all his friends. Sisters, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 But it's like around. there was a wedding that was supposed to go on right between this guy and this girl. And, uh, apparently the groom was like super nervous and just like whatever. And the bride like found out about it 
that he was like nervous. So she went and was like, fuck it. We're not going to do like first look or anything like that. So I'm going to go find him and, uh, you know, make sure he's yeah, yeah, good, yeah, you sure know, he's chilling. so she goes into like the groom suite or whatever and opens the door and he's sucking his mom's tit. That shit is fucking wild, right? Hold on. Hold yeah, on. bro. Hold he's on sucking second. his mom's tit. So w- immediately I thought like, oh, like his best man was sucking him off. No, no. I was like, all right, like that's scandalous. Yeah, that's crazy. This, somehow sucking your mom's tit is even, I, I would call nah. the wedding off. Bro, fuck that. I'm calling the police. What do you mean? Why was he? So this guy was a grown man. Grown man sucking his mom's tit. And the dad was there too, bro. The dad was in the room? The dad was just like, that's my son. Oh my God. And apparently dude. these fucking, and I mean, <laughs> I don't I don't know this for a fact, but bro, I know these are white people. You know what I'm saying? In my heart, if I had to gamble all the money I have, it would be on a, this is this is an act of the whites. Yo. <laughs> So like <laughs> you walk in a room, bro. Tits, you you bro. walk in a room and your your husband soon to be in in minutes. Your husband is sucking his own mom's tit, and his dad standing there with his hands on his hips, like, mm-hmm. what the fuck? Called off the wedding, obviously, because that's too much. How do you go? Imagine like just being like, yo, like go and back the the the. Uh, I tell the everybody, wife, bro, fian- going back to her bridal par- party and saying, yo, I just caught so and so sucking his mom's sucking tit. his mom's old fat tits yeah dude and apparently so what it was was the the mom like he would do that because it would relax him like in the mom i guess was like always like that's illegal right <sighs> depends what state it, you're it, in yeah 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 if this was like alabama that's like go for it yeah I mean, that's full that's full send can you imagine like you're super nervous in the way you're gonna relax your mom's just like just have a little suck just <laughs> I'd be like, get the fuck out of here, mom. Mom, I'm just so nervous. Like, you you think I could just like suck your tit for a couple minutes? You think you could just dump it out? You know how I get. That's so weird. There's nothing like people might come in the comments and be like, oh, there's something motherly about that. No, it's fucking weird. Yo, I would love to see who would write a comment like that because I want to like, I want to know who you are and I want to know your first and last name. Yeah. And then like, I want people OPL. to know that you said that, you know, because there's nothing motherly, lo- motherly about this. This motherfucker wasn't eight. This mother he was, was fucking 30 something. Sucking his mom's tits, dude. At 30 something, bro? That might be like the most. Bro, even a 12 year old sucking a tit is ludicrous to me. I'll be honest with you. If I see a seven year old suck a tit, I'm thinking about it. Like, I don't I'm, even I'm, know. Like, I'm like, oh, that kid's a little old to suck tit. I don't really know how old seven year olds are. Like when, I, like, when I see a kid, I don't know. Uh, a seven year old is, I think, in first, second grade. Yeah, but I wouldn't look at a kid and go, that looks, the kid's probably around seven. Like, I, at a certain point, like, from the ages of, like, first grade to, like, seventh grade, I have no idea. It's all a blur to me. Like, I yeah. wouldn't be able to guess. Yeah, you know, yeah, I think, yeah, you know what? You might be right about that. I think ages from about the, six to nine or six to ten, Yeah, I can't do it. Bro, if you're, you, if you're in school, you have homework and shit, and you're sucking your mom's tit, that's fucking wild. Yeah. I, 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 I went to a, a friend's... Uh, um, like memorial, he passed away, and uh, there were kids there that were eighteen, and I was like, "There's no way you guys are eighteen. You guys look like you're thirteen years old." Really? They look like children, bro. Wow. I'm like, "Yo, like it's weird because like I had that moment. I'm like, yo, do I really look? Did I look that young when I was eighteen? I felt like I looked like a grown ass man." Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I was a little fucking pussy, so I don't. Well, you posted those graduation pictures, which were fantastic. Yeah, how funny was that? Yeah, that's an eighteen year old. I look like an idiot. Yeah, I have to just say this, and I really hope you don't take this the wrong way. I cannot wait to hear this. Your family's necks are crazy. Right? Yo, you guys got crazy neck in. I have a thick neck. Keith's got a neck from here to Mongolia. I've never said, I mean, it matches his fat-ass cock, but, like, for me. That too. The, it, it, the neck matches the dick, for sure. So you think I just have a just a thick cock? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do have a big neck though. Oh, my shit. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say. I, you were gonna say, I do have. A big I do have cock. a fat cock. Though. I do have a fat dick. No, though. but like, what's your neck size? Do you know? Uh, it's big. It's big. Um, seventeen. I'm sixteen and a half. Yeah, uh, seventeen. The last time I checked, but it's just because like my traps are kind of big. That's the only reason. The base of my neck is wide. This though, you could choke me up. Yeah, you could really have your way with me. <laughs> Can really have your way with me. 
My neck is pretty brolic. I remember one time I grabbed the back of your neck and I was like, I need another hand for this neck. Yeah, I think that like, I I think if you're out there and you're trying to choke me out and kill me that way, you'd have a difficult time. Or at least you'd be exhausted afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Because like at the minimum, like I feel like you could just get punched in the head a couple times and be perfectly fine because your neck is crazy. Yeah, like I should have been a boxer because I would have like a pretty probably a good chin or whatever because like my head's not going nowhere, bro. Not on this thing. You want to know what's crazy? The first episode we ever did in the basement yard together, I said that Logan Paul and Jake Paul should get into boxing. Did you really? Yeah. Someone brought it to my attention. They sent me a clip of it. Um, and it was about how they should start boxing and fight each other. Why would you say that, though? I don't know, because I'm a fucking gene. You're a gene, I've dude. been a gene. So, yeah, if you, if you go all the way back then, the, I brought that up is Anderson Silva, Jake Paul, who you got? Um, I think, you know what I think? I think that Jake Paul wins that fight just for the simple fact. I think Jake Paul wins that fight the same way that like Weidman won that fight against him. Yeah. Like he he's a like showman stuff. Yeah. And it's like, bro, you're fucking old. This dude gonna, is going to try mad hard and he cares so much and he's going to like, and he could fucking punch, bro. Oh like, yeah. I would want to get punched by Jake Paul. Fuck no, bro. God, fuck me up, dude. Yeah. But now, I mean, Jesus yeah, Christ. Now, yeah. Fuck. Back in the Vine days, I would have kicked your ass. Oh, my God. I would have fucking molested him. I would have. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, uh, I, yeah, I think that he, I think that he beats him just because I think that he wants it more. And he also, like, I think that Anderson Silva at some point is going to, like, put his hands down and, like, fuck right. around and shit. And I don't think that shit's going to work when see, someone really cares like that. See, I think it goes to the decision. And, like, Anderson's, like, just so, ha- like, loves life so much that he, like, might let him win. He's like, oh, he's a nice guy. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Asian Ander- on South Park. No, 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 no. But like Anderson Silva does sound like 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 a Brazilian Michael Jackson. He's like, yeah, he's a nice guy. He, he's normal. It's normal. It's normal. He's Did you see nice. when he was like, he was he's talking nice to guy. See when he's talking about Chelsea, and he's like, why you not come to my house for barbecue? Yeah, he's like, why you not come to my house barbecue? Come on, blanket. He's like, I, I thought that your wife did not like me. <laughs> Yo, do you ever? <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah, because he said he was like that guy used to say some wild shit. I love Chael, though. I love Chael. Uh, I love. Bo- I, 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 I'll check that fight out. I'm not gonna buy it though. I'm gonna steal it. I'm going to steal it on the internet. I'm just letting you guys know. It's too easy to steal it. It's too easy to steal it. Just going to do that. Um, Just got to steal it. But uh, Michael Jackson, I was watching an old Michael Jackson. uh, Every once in a while, I go on these YouTube, like, (laughs) deep dives on Michael Jackson. And I saw one where he rented out an entire grocery store and hired his friends and family to pretend to be regular people shopping around the store so so michael jackson could have a normal experience going to a supermarket and buying things so he's like it would be like if i rented fucking whole foods out and i hired you to like act like you were looking for pasta sauce and like i just walked by you like hey what's up that's good sauce because he just wanted to go grocery shopping yeah he just wanted to go groceries listen love michael hate that like what the fuck are you talking about, yo, man? Yeah, but now, but now I think about it, it's like, yo, his whole life has been so like not normal that this guy had to hire all of his friends to have a normal experience. Sounds pretty normal to me. He, uh, what the fuck? He was like, yeah, he's like, come on, let's play. Like he's like playing in the fucking, he's fucking playing with this like one of his friends, and this guy's like, have you ever had this cereal? He's like doing like all, all like real normal shit. Like that. How sad is that? Was though? he pretending they were strangers? Yeah, he hired them to pretend they were strangers, so he acted like he went shopping in a regular fucking shopping mall and full of strangers. Who the fuck would agree to that? His friends. That is weird, dude. I'm just over there playing with the coupon machine. I used to kill that thing. Oh, dude, you remember like those those 25 cent like gumball machines that would have like tattoos in them? Yeah, those were cool. Bring those back, and they had like still buy them to this day. And they had like raw candy in it too. Yeah, not packaged, just fucking raw candy, just covered in like soot. Yeah, preservative (laughs) dust. (laughs) Like it was just weird. Like what the fuck are we doing here? I put twenty five. Mom, can I get coins? And like she would give me twenty five cents, and I would turn a thing. I'd put my hand out, and like seven runts would come out, (laughs) and I'd be like, "Oh fuck, I didn't get a banana." Not. (laughs) Yo, that's yeah. The bananas that used to come out of there. The best too was the gumballs because they made it go down that little fucking swirly dervish thing. Fucked. 
dervish. No thing yeah, was I off. fucked with that a lot. Uh, but I, you never got the color you wanted. No, never you, do. You're like, oh, I got this pink one. It's gay. So, yeah. It's like, I don't want to eat this gay gumball now. You're like eight. You're like, oh, man. You're, and then your friend goes after you and gets like blue. And you're like, Jesus, this not sucks. him. I was like, this ruined my day. Fuck this. It's fucking pink. You know what Keith used to do? He used to have my mom take him to the movie theater because they had... That's one, pretty normal. That, well, wait. He wouldn't go to a movie. <laughs> he would have my mom go to the movie theater and wait outside like it's a bank heist. And he would go inside and it was like, you had to put 75 cents into this machine. And God damn, 75 cents? Yeah, and you would crank it and you would get a giant draw jawbreaker like this big. Oh, I remember those. And then he would put it in a Ziploc bag and then he would beat it with a hammer. <laughs> I swear to God, but he would go in and get a jawbreaker, bro. He would drive like 10, 15 minutes to the, to the movie theater for the shit. We'd come home, put it in a Ziploc bag and then beat it with a hammer so that he could yeah. eat it. <laughs> you want to know what's crazy? It's, he would do that all the time, bro. You want to know what's crazy though? Is I, I kind of understand the logic. I know. I, like I get it. It was smart. <laughs> I loved it too. Cause I was like, oh, I get to have some of these. Cause, cause you can't just eat a jawbreaker, son. No, let me Even get some the ones of that, that like big. What are you supposed to do? Get a chisel? Whoever created that wanted to kill children. I almost died on one of those fucking yeah, things, dude. Because they'd be like, yo, put this entire fucking gag ball in your mouth, kid. Yeah. And it's like, I could barely get it past my teeth, dude. Once it's in, it's not coming out. What do you think are like some of the best like uh, marketed candies? I think Warheads is one of the best because they have that. <laughs> <laughs> they're also not that fucking sour. They're sour, but they're not like that sour. You know what? You know what the ones that would get me were the mystery warheads. Remember that? They would just be like, "You don't know what it is," and then you put it in your mouth, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "You know what's funny about all the mystery flavored shit? It's really not a mystery. It's just another flavor. Like I know yeah. that you can't name the flavor, but it's like every time you have it, it's the same one. It's always like blue raz. It's up with something. It's, it's something blue. Raz. I fuck with the the mystery airheads. Mystery airheads. I like. Are those the what were white. the white the white ones? Those were them, bro. When you like roll up an airhead like perfectly and just fucking pack it in there like you're dipping. Uh, one of the most slept oh. on candies, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Like watermelon airheads. Oh my god. I want to go to a factory one day where they like make candy. There was a show you used to watch all the time. See them like pull the fucking taffy. You ever go to like somewhere where they're pulling yeah. taffy, dude? Bro, I spent oh. hours at night one time watching a TikTok page and the dude just like would make taffy. Yeah. And he like, at one point he it's like heated up and it, it just looks like fucking like melted sugar. Oh. And then he's just like shoveling it and all together. And then he starts like twisting yeah. it or whatever. Then there's a hook on the wall. And he's throwing it over the hook. And he's fucking <laughs> doing his shit. I'm like, what? This guy makes all this taffy like this? <laughs> and he's like 60. I'm like, bro, get someone in here. I, I love people that have been doing obscure things for so long that they make it look so easy. Like this guy could just fucking twirl taffy with the best of them. And there's got to be an easier way to do this. There's got to be an easier way to twirl taff. There's also a place in the city where you can get, if you order a Coca-Cola... Okay. They put a cup underneath uh, what looks like a ketchup thing, and then he hits it like three times, and it puts this like like cola syrup in it, and then he puts like club soda, and then he's as he's pouring it in, he's stirring it, oh. and then he gives it to you. And it's like, bro, you know we package this now, right? Just get Coca-Cola. Is, wait, this is like a real place now? Real place, yeah, now. In America? In Manhattan. Oh, because I, I thought it would be like one of those like weird Indonesian TikToks, you know? No, no, bro. Like, no. You, <laughs> you ever see like those weird ones in like some like obscure like Asian country and it's a guy like making like awesome fucking like shaved ice off like a, yeah. off, like, a camel? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's just like the camel holds the ice for him. He's like shaving it and it's like beautifully flavored. You know what I love? You ever see those videos of that guy who like like a kid orders ice cream and then he's like going to hand it to him and he keeps like tricking him. He's like, nope, not yet. <laughs> And he's like, here, take this one. The kid holds it and he takes it out. He's like, oh, look, two cones. <laughs> Not your cone, fucking loser. Oh, uh, yeah. That, see, like, that would be so cool as a kid, as a grown man. I would want to fucking murder I'd that. I'd be like, person. give me this ice cream before I come back there and snap you in half. Yeah, because I'm going to fucking kill everyone in this goddamn line if you pull another fucking cone out of this thing. You fucking <laughs> piece of shit. If you pull another stunt like that, I swear <laughs> to God. Get the cat out of the way. Get the cat out of the way. <laughs> I would just smush it in his like little stick. 
Because he has like a little stick that he hands it on. Yeah, and he does and the little like this, like, squish. Fuck you. Have you seen that guy on TikTok? He's like a little Asian man that does like hat tricks. Hat tricks? Yeah, he's like, yo, your mouth. And he like does little tricks. <laughs> His hat tricks? He has like this little hat that becomes like a vase. You say vase or vase? I, I go back and forth. I go back and forth too. I'm gonna say vase. He like he's like mud, yo yo mud, and like puts like he like does he turns his hat into like five different hats. Yo, this sounds like something <laughs> like like a Mario Party character, honestly, like he, a side. Mission. He really does. I'll I'll send you a video of him, and it's like he has some stuff, but like he's amazing <laughs> at like. You no, know I love. You know what I love? The dude who's always like covering his dick with like teacups. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the guy's, this, the guy's the man, this guy's like laying down covering his dick in teacups and, he, and he's got like a fan hooked up to it and then a truck drives, turns the fan on, pulls the thing and he's like, look, no cock. <laughs> That's my favorite. I love, I love that dude. You know, the thing I hate about TikTok though is that, but I also love it is that the lives are so weird. Bro, what the fuck is that? They're always just like, oh, it's like this. And some dude's like throwing like ping pong balls off like 1100 things. And then it's like some girl like, like, like eating pop rocks on a fucking microphone. Yeah. That's I saw one. It was just a guy playing with two like spheres that were like clear. And he was just going like this. <laughs> Getting mad roses, bro. They get mad roses. I don't even know what that is. I don't know how it works. I just see like people doing like. Are they? One, they two, get three, paid. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh yeah, it's like oh we're battling. Yeah, and it's like oh it's like thanks for the lollipops. You know what's funny? I don't know what that is, bro. Ahmed told me that his brother does that, and he doesn't have a lot of followers, but apparently he makes mad money doing it. What? Yeah, we need we need to talk to him about that. I don't I don't know what's going on. It's like oh we're battling, but they don't do anything. They just like egg people on. Then people like pay money. TikTok. I still haven't figured out TikTok. Like I like I, don't, I really don't know how to use it. You have like a million followers on there. Yeah, dude. One point five. Act like you know. You have more <laughs> followers on TikTok than you do on Instagram. Think yeah. about how much time you spent building Instagram. <laughs> I know. Right. But and, and like YouTube and shit. <laughs> and then like you were just like this person's weird. And like you whoa. Did, and then people were like followers. Yeah, we're going one point five million, dude. Yeah, that's I know. a big ass number, brother. I. Treated it like how I would usually do like little Instagram videos. Oh honestly. yeah, I don't realize I, I didn't realize I was just wearing these headphones the entire time while you weren't wearing. Yeah, headphones. dude, you were definitely wearing them. Yeah, it kind of looked like uh, you know. Don't like, lie to anyone, dude. We know you're wearing them. Like I had some hearing things, but I'm I'm the one that has to do the audio tech. Um, I, I got you. The thing about TikTok that scares me though is that it's mostly children. I mean, there's also a good amount of like at, like when I first got the app. There was a lot of kids and a lot of like nineteen year old big fat tits. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, they're, yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. You yeah, can't yeah. interact with that because otherwise you'll just get nineteen year old big fat tits. You're uh, the entire time. I know. I liked. I liked one person, uh, w with her tit out. No, with like <laughs> with with like special needs doing karate, and like now that's like my entire algorithm. <laughs> Your entire for you page is specially challenged karate. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. And I don't know what the fuck I did, but I was showing support. It was one of those things where I'm like, yo, like that's awesome. You're doing karate, man. But then you're like, I don't I don't know if I signed up for this. No, I didn't sign up for a lifelong subscription to <laughs> fucking special needs karate, dude. <laughs> oh my god. It's so true though. Uh, yeah, it's like they care dude, so much about the algorithm, bro. Yeah. It's like yeah, dude, uh, it's like yo, I get it, but like every time I open open my thing, there was like there was like a guy with like no legs, like like doing a backflip when yo, I opened hold it. On, I was nah. like, yo, that's kind of cool, but I can't I can't watch all these videos. So I have the OPL account, basement yard account, and my own personal account. Gee, you manage three TikTok? Accounts? No, I d I don't. I do the basement yard one and, and mine, but Greg yeah. does the OPL one. But there's three accounts, and there was this one time where I went on my account, and it was. Uh, a guy with no arms or legs on a treadmill. Uh -huh. And he's talking about like how he does certain things or something. Yeah. And I was like, I don't really want to watch this because it's like, I'm so, so happy for him, but it's, it's just like, it's so sad, you know? It's, yeah, it's rough. So I was like, I don't even want to. And then I like scroll past it, whatever. Then I had to upload something on the basement yard account. 
I go to the account first video. It's this guy again on the treadmill. Yeah, dude. I they, can't get this guy out of the way. They were like, no, you have to do it. It's it's that. It's people with, with like, with disabilities. Um, like, I, I went on uh, TikTok Live the other day, and it was, like, 14 albino women singing in, like, in, in a hut somewhere. Yeah, it was in, like, another Wait, country. do albino people exist as, like, like... Tribes? You know what I mean? In certain places, yes. I never knew that. I yeah. thought that it was just like, you know, it would just like in Kenya, like, you know, like yeah, one yeah. out of a thousand people are albino. Or yeah, something. there's like, there's certain places where like, I, they're like all albino, I think. That I did not know. Yeah. Um, and the other thing too, um, yeah, like every once in a while, like I'll see a kid on there and like, like shaking its ass. And I'm like, dude, I can't. I, I'm like, yo, this person's like 14 years old shaking their ass on my phone. Like, I can't. I can't. What is this? Yeah, it's like. That's why. That's the only reason why I'm scared of TikTok is because. Yeah, like, some that, girls like, walking around. Some girls walking around in like skin tight pants with their butt out and they got a backpack on. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you can't have like, a backpack on. No. Like this. No. This is terrible. No, you can't do that. That's why I, I, I just scroll past this shit. And now I have a great for you page because. Fuck, I need that. Yeah, no, it's great because the shit that makes me laugh is like the like very random stuff like nothing like really set up no one talking to the camera or anything like i would i, I have no interest in the shit that i do on there yeah yeah as like a it's consumer con but it's content no yeah like what i do on there i know that there's a market for and people enjoy it yeah i would hate that so like anyone who's talking to a camera i hate that shit so you hate your own content yes <laughs> without a doubt it's but just, it works it's not for me it's but not it that I, it's i don't hate it of like oh this isn't good like i think it's funny it's just me personally my preference is i don't want to watch someone talk, do, talk do what i do right like i i do it so it's like you know whatever so but I, the shit that makes me laugh is just like you know random shit that you see in the wild like a fucking you know what i mean just people I, falling I down is always up people there, falling down bro People getting hurt will always be funny to me i, I don't went, i don't care what anybody says i went through like a big like weird russian phase where like i would just get mad Wait, one videos second, of what? yeah i would get mad videos of people from like russia first of all does the sun ever fucking come out in russia <laughs> it's yo, know, it's always overcast over there what is going on dude it is pretty overcast figure out the the fucking uh the climate dude yeah dude move those fucking clouds out of the way and they have like horrible data it always looks like it was filmed on a fucking potato <laughs> russia has horrible internet dude figure it out tell putin to take a br break from the ukraine fix the internet for real, dude. Guys, fucking people are crazy maniacs, dude. Dude, at one time I saw a video. It was this guy. He uh, like the video starts and it looks like they're just like out on a frozen lake, but there's like snow. And, and they're Russian as fuck. Yeah, yeah. So like, there's clearly a hole that was like made. Yeah. But it had frozen over. Okay. And the rest is like white snow. And then all the sudden, and like around the front of the hole is a bunch of candles and and uh stuffed animals and like just weird shit and all of a sudden this russian guy comes through the ice and breaks the ice and starts like eating a cake <laughs> he picks up like a birthday cake and starts like eating it and he has like some face paint on and i'm like who, who the fuck is this for you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's like weird but Russian many, entertainment. But how many likes did it have? Maybe that's like a Russian delicacy. Like, we're in Russia. Like, they do that once a year to, like, signify, like, the changing of the seasons. Yeah, every solstice. Yeah. They're just like, yeah, get back in the fucking frozen we lake. To, we have to get ice, man. Ice Wh cake. Where's the, where's the cake? You are honored this year. You have to retrieve the cake. Bro, it was, it's so... It was so weird. I was like, I don't know what I... And then, I obviously, I watched his page for like the next half hour oh uh, yeah because i was like i need more of this that happens to be the only reason i got like i'm active on tiktok now is because doja cat followed me on there there you go so i was just like she's you know another what? fucking weird one yeah so i was like if doja fucks with me i have to i have to produce talk talk tent talk tent yeah talk tent yeah she's but, like, she's a weird one she's, she's a weird cool one. she's mad cool and then she like shaved her head and her eyebrows and like drew little ones on i was like what's going on here just went for it i think that, that was a big thing when we were in like high school though like girls yeah, like shaved Thin ass. Shaved their eyebrows and then just drew it back on. Who was the Why girl? are they doing that? Julia Roberts? Who's in Save the Last Dance? Julia Roberts is like, <laughs> Julia Roberts. Is like 70 years old. <laughs> Who am I thinking of? Julia Stiles. <laughs> Julia Stiles. Yes. <laughs> I loved Julia Roberts in Save the Last Dance. She was so good in it. 
<laughs> yeah, no. Uh, but Julia Stiles, I feel like everyone looked like that. My sister used to look like that. She had these thin ass fucking eyebrows. Super thin, dude. Yeah, super thin. Uh, I'm gonna get into the ads, and then I'm gonna tell you a story how I saw a kid fall out of a tree. <laughs> <laughs> That. Dude, like 30 minutes before you got here but uh our first uh let me see make sure i have the right one our first sponsor is our friends over at bond charge all right hey everybody out there listen if you need blue light glasses you guys need to check out bond charge all right listen Bond Charge is a holistic wellness brand with a huge range of evidence-based products to optimize your life in every way. Founded on science and inspired by nature, all Bond Charge products adopt ancestral ways of living in our modern day world. That's right. Their extensive range of premium wellness products help you sleep better, perform better, have better energy throughout the day, recover faster, balance hormones, reduce inflammation. The list is endless. So from blue light glasses to red light therapy to EMF management, they got it all there at Boncharge. So Boncharge products helped you naturally address the issues of our modern day way of life effortlessly and with maximum impact all right and this is what i want you guys to know they have computer glasses which are clear lenses help you with headaches sore eyes digital eye strain watery eyes and fatigue light sensitivity glasses yellow lenses which are migraine stress anxiety low mood sad uh, and blue light blocking glasses for poor sleep fatigue low energy and jet lag so this is what i want you guys to understand i use my blue light blocking glasses at night because i always use my phone in bed trying to do it less and less bond charge has been helping me with that so this is what i want you guys to do all right everybody out there listening in the low priori verse perverse uh <laughs> la perverse go to bondcharge.com slash lops and use coupon lops to save 20 percent. that's b-o-n-c-h-a-r-g-e dot com slash lops l-o-p-s and use the coupon lops to save 20 percent. go get yourself some glasses baby shout out to our friends at bond charge uh also our next ad is our friends over at manscaped uh i love manscaped manscaped is the best you guys need to understand if it wasn't for the lawnmower my gooch would be going wild <laughs> out of control <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something. The Performance Package 4.0 mm -hmm. is so goddamn good. I have it. You have it, right? I legitimately do, yeah. I use it all the time. I use it on my gooch. I use it on my ass. And let me tell you something, brother. It knocks the trees down. It knocks the trees down, bro. And they have some of the most fucking... How, did they send you the, uh, the compression shorts? No. Oh, you got to get them. They're so good, dude. Mm. Yeah, so holler, holler at Manscaped, whoever uh, does the sponsors for you. Yeah. Manscaped, Manscaped, send my, send my boy some 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 boxers. Um, but yeah, dude, the performance package, they got the crop, the ball deodorant, the yeah. toner. I use all of that shit, dude. Mm -hmm. My downstairs penis area was gross <laughs> before I started messing with Manscaped. So you guys need to understand, like, oh, you're like, hey, man, is this thing going to, like, cut my dick? No, it doesn't cut your dick. It's also waterproof, and it also has a light, so those hard-to-reach places, and I'm talking about the dungeon of your gooch. It has a light to get in there, brother, and all you have to do is just shine that light and get to buzzing. And I want you guys to know that what you could do is save 20% off your entire order right now if you go to manscaped.com and use the promo code LOPS. So go and get that performance package 4.0. Go get the toner. You want a, a closer trim, they have a, a razor that's so fucking good. It gets so close, and it's so smooth, and it's so nice. Uh, but, yeah, dude, go get the performance package. Get the lawnmower. Uh, they have the best ball grooming testicular area things that are on the market. So if you don't go there, you're dumb. Okay? <laughs> so go to manscaped.com. Use uh, promo code LOPS for 20% off your entire order and free shipping. I'm out. And now let's get back to the show. So yeah, so uh, there was a kid. I was I was outside. I was walking my dogs. This is the first time I've ever walked them in this neighborhood ever. And I'm walking through the little park that's by my apartment building. And there's this guy. Well, no, there's this boy. He's a young boy. A boy <laughs> and a young girl. And they're up in a tree together. Damn, K-I-S-S-I-N-G? They were just like messing around. And like their friends were on the ground like yelling up like, hey, guy, like you're in the tree. Like they're talking back and forth to each other. And the girl jumps out. Are of they the high up? I would say they're about nine feet in the air. Bro, that's fucking high. Yeah, it's high. It's high. Okay, so they're nine feet in the air. They're nine feet in the air. Like, uh, they're and this on the girl just jumped down, landed on her feet like a cat. No, no, no. She like shimmied down the tree to like another lower branch that was around like six feet and and dropped. Down, okay, and, cool. And, and dropped. 
So she got out, and the boy was afraid to get out of the tree. And they were talking back and forth. Like, like, oh, no, like, come on, like, come out of the tree. Like, come on, like, jump, yeah. And he was just like, no, I'm not doing that. And he was like, I need help. Like, someone come up and get me. Like, I, I'm, I'm afraid. Damn, um, dude. Yeah. Not in front of your girl, bro. Yeah, so I don't know if they were dating, but they if they were dating, this guy looked like a simp, dude. It was real bad. Yeah. So he was like, nah, like, yo, like, someone come up and get me. So the girl that jumped out of the tree looks up at him and goes, I'll only help you if you say that you're gay. <laughs> I swear to God. Fire. I swear to God. So the kid was up there all scared and he was like, I'm what? Gay. She's like, what? She's like, I'll only help you if you say I'm gay. Yo. And she and she kept saying it. So I'm like, all right, this is fascinating now. Now I'm I'm intrigued. Bro, stop. I hear I yeah, so I, that alone is hilarious. So he's up in the tree. <laughs> I'll only help you if you say you're gay. Dude, the kid's up in the tree. And he won't say he's gay. At first he won't. Yeah. But I could hear the fear in him. It's building. He's like, he's, dude, I'm, he's suspended nine feet in the air, dude. It's pretty high. Just standing on a fucking branch, like holding onto the tree, but like his feet are on the branch. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, so they're talking. And uh, oh my God. <laughs> so he's like, come on, like say it and I'll come up and help you. He goes, I'm gay. <laughs> Hear me, listen out. He goes, I'm gay. And all you hear is, you hear the branch break. No. And he falls out of the tree onto his face and his stomach and hits the floor. Boom. Like, you know when someone hits the earth, like that thud, it's so dense. Yeah. Like, Boof. And he just starts crying. Crying. How old were these kids? 12. Oh, it's a bad age. Yeah, 12, 13. And he's just going, ah, ah. So the I did the only thing that I thought that I could do is I went I went on Instagram Live. <laughs> <laughs> on Instagram Live. You know what's fucked up? The most- and I was filming him. I was filming. Really? Him. Yeah, dude. I was filming him on the floor, dude. I I went live it's on Instagram. Fucked up, dude. <laughs> I went live on Instagram right after he hit the floor, and he was just going ah, ah, screaming. Yo, this kid goes, I'm gay. <laughs> falls dude. out of the tree. It's almost like God smashed him out of the tree. Like it was just dude. like, yo, no gays. And like smacked <laughs> him down out of the tree. And he smashed on the floor, dude. When I tell you, it sounded like he weighed 700 pounds. That's like how thick the earth is. Oh my God. Bro, I'm gay. Crack. Did he land on smash. grass? Dude, he landed on dirt. Just fucking hard tree dirt. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, yo, the only thing I could do is. What did the I girl could- do? Oh, she so they ran and like got help. There's like a school around here somewhere. So I think it was like an after school program or something. So uh, I started filming him and then they saw that I was filming him. So now I, I pretended I'm like, oh, should I call the police? So now I'm pretending like my phone's out to call the cops. Like, should I call? While you're on Instagram. Yeah, while I'm on Instagram. Live. So I'm like, yo, like, should I call the police? Like I pulled my phone out to make sure like, you know, like, should I call 911? And, like, one of the kids, like, started walking towards me. So I was like, oh, great. Now now I'm going to have to beat up a 13-year-old. <laughs> I was like, dude. I was like, yo, if this kid comes over here, I'm going to fuck him up. Like, I'll, I'll fight a 13-year-old. Because there's 13-year-olds out there in the world that kick my ass. <sighs> yeah, and, like, Brazil. Yeah. With, like, black belts and you, shit. You ever see, like, those kids in, uh, like, Brazil that, like, kick trees? Yeah, bro. What the fuck are we doing? I don't know how they do that, but I kind of want to do it. I want to kick a tree, but I'm, I'm scared. I, I want to kick a tree too, but but my thing is is like I could barely get out of bed in the morning. Now I'm gonna go start kicking trees. What's yeah. wrong with me? Uh, you gotta you gotta warm up to kicking trees. You have to warm up to kicking trees. You have to warm up to kicking anything, even kicking ass. Kicking ass, which is like you know you gotta warm up before you kick someone's ass. You think you'll? W- let me ask you a question. Yep. You know, like creator clash. Wait, hold on. What did what did the kid do? Oh, he he just continued to lay there and then like no uh, no no the kid who walked up to you. Oh, I, I, I just pretended that I was like, yo, like, oh, should I call he, like, turned around. And then he turned around and walked away. What was he going to do? Come up to you and be like, hey, you filming? Yeah, yeah. But then I thought about it. I was like, I am filming like a child hurt right now. Like, maybe I can go to jail for that. I don't know. There's, there's so many rules with kids nowadays. <laughs> you can't even film you can't like, even, a kid with a caved in chest anymore. Yeah, dude. I can't film a kid with a fucking hyperextended elbow anymore like what's going on so I, I i panicked and i left but i immediately went on instagram live and zoomed in on him laying on the floor 
lifeless. Crying. You're fucking savage. Yeah, dude. Fuck these kids, man. I'll, I'll tell you the thing that's about kids nowadays. They don't respect us. Yeah, they're mean, dude. They don't like us. They don't I'm love us. I'm scared of kids. I'm, I'm scared of children because I know for a fact that at some point I'm going to go through my kid's phone and it's going to say like big booty Latinas. You yeah. Know? And, and I'll be hype when that day comes. No, I'm going to be hype. But the thing is like now I'm going to have to explain it to his mom. You know I'll be like, mean? bro, you want you want to know something? You Google big booty Latinas, and then you'll know some, because once you Google it, you don't go back. Everyone understands, bro. How, like, but my thing is, is like, uh, you know, back in the day, like dads would get their kids like porno mags. What? Yeah. Like, that was a thing. Like, like they would be like, oh, like, here, like, you know, like, if you're worrying about, like, women, like, here, like, let's talk about, like, this. Oh, that never happened to me. That never happened to you? Your dad bought you a porn magazine? No, my dad didn't buy me a porn magazine, but my dad, like... He sat you down and he goes, these are titties. Yeah, my dad, my dad... Nope. Yeah. <laughs> my dad never says shit to me, bro. My dad never said anything to me about sex ever. The only thing, and I've said this before, is the only thing he's ever said to me, I was, like, on my way out to go to like the park to play basketball like i wasn't like going to a school dance or something he just goes just want to let you know you could be blue you could be green you could be yellow you could be whatever color you want just be safe uh, he was talking about condos <laughs> that's literally all he said with zero context we Some weren't talking colors. about sex there was nothing like a sex scene on the, a tv or anything like that like i was going to play basketball and he, that's what he said to me and he's like just be safe and then he left and i was like what the fuck was he talking about but then i put it together later on like he was talking about condoms oh condom colors yeah oh i thought he was talking about skin tone and then i thought he was gonna be like just don't be gay <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no you could be green you could be black you could be yellow you could be white you know just don't be gay you know what's funny my dad has Twice in my life. Well, I have two brothers. He's asked me if I thought he, both of them were gay. Oh, like he's come to you to be like, yo, you think they're gay? He's like, you think they're like, you know. See, and I was like, it no. Italian dads will never say you think they're gay. They'll just do a hand gesture. Yeah, they're like, you know, he's. You know. <laughs> I'm just like, what, what? Hey, you ever think like Keith might be a little, you know. You know I mean? Shit that doesn't even make sense. A little bit of this. <laughs> Whatever. No, my, no, not that I care. It's just a little bit of this. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's like doing a chicken dance. He's like, you know, I don't hey, You ever think Michael might be a little bit... You know yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, just a little... little, You know, a little this. <laughs> you would think he's... What do you think? And the, the only thing that's funny is we understand what they're saying. We're like, oh, no, they're not gay. Yeah, I'm like, no. <laughs> that, and I knew right immediately. And, and like, he wouldn't even have to say anything. He's like, you think he's a little, you know... Hey, you ever talk to Jared? You ever think he's a little, you know... Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You, you, ever, one of those, you, you know. think he's one of these? Uh, what? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> but he asked me. They told me he asked me that about Thomas too. I was like, "What the fuck?" And he asked me about Keith. I'm like, "No, bro. Both not gay, too." Yeah, bro. Both I think. I think. I think he was just trying to just like. You know, he probably walked away from that. Just be like, oh. No, he's just an idiot. He, just and he said, doesn't he just pay said, attention. Yeah, like he didn't know. Like, like my dad just like won't pay attention to someone's life. <laughs> and then we'll just be like, is he gay? Because he doesn't have a girlfriend in that second. Right. And I'll be like, no. Yeah. No, see, I feel I feel that our parents were as accepting of gay people as they could be. Yeah, my dad is very accepting of pretty much anything, but you best believe there's going to be off-color jokes for the rest of time. Oh, yeah. Do you know that? You know what my dad said to me the other day, actually? I was on the phone with him. How's he doing, by the way? He's doing good. Good, good. Um, but he was... Uh, I cleaned his sleep apnea mask once. <laughs> yeah, and he, Yo, bro, he talked about that like you fucking suck his <laughs> cock. Like he was like, I cannot believe he did that. What a nice man. <laughs> like he was so obsessed Guys, with it. Guys, when I tell you that this sleep apnea mask... Look fucked. Looked like he... Looked like you were blowing cigarettes into it. Bro, it looks like he ran around like during the dust bowl <laughs> just and just waved it around like this. You know, just it like, <laughs> threw it around his head like he went to a like he worked in a coal mine for five years. It looks like the 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 hoses in like a a, a water fountain like soda machine. <laughs> yeah, like how they like, how they how they converge and like get the two juices <laughs> together. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. But he, uh, what was I saying? Uh, just uh, you spoke to him the other day. Yeah, what did he say? Fuck. I don't know. You were just like like uh like how he's just not aware. Yeah, I know. 
I forget. I forget what it was, but I, well, let's I talk to this dude every like every so often, and he's just like he he just says like the craziest shit to me, and I'm just like, Dad, I oh, this is what he said. He said that he's like, listen, he's like, I've met a lot of people down because he's called me and been like, hey, can you do me a favor and send some merch to you know this address? Uh, it's like people that I know, they know who you are, so I want to be nice, and I'm like, yeah, so I'll just like send them stuff. But then one time, recently, he called me. And he goes, Joey, listen, one, he thinks that like, he's like, don't go to Manhattan because he thinks that there's, he thinks it's the five points. Like there's just dead bodies in the street. And it's like, he watches the news. Also, he lives in North Carolina. So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, you look through, th- it's, through it's, that lens. It's pretty ugly out, out there. It is, but it's, it's like, it's not what he's making it seem. Right. He's like, don't ever get on the train. You can't trust anyone. It's like, like da- relax. Daniel Day-Lewis is walking around. With yeah, I was like, that. where you think I'm going, bro? Like, what, I'm was fucking- that ha- what was that hat Daniel Day-Lewis wore in that? Was that a pilot hat? I don't he had know. like an Amelia Earhart hat on. He did. It was like an old rugby leather head hat. You know what I mean? Like, the fuck is this? Why don't you burn him, see if his ashes turn gray? It's like, this is a kill. <laughs> this is a kill. <laughs> this is sex. Yeah. This is this is sex in the butt. This this is <laughs> asshole. <laughs> this is sex in the butt. So your dad was just being like, "Yo, don't go to Manhattan." Yeah, basically, and he was like, "Just be careful." I was like, "I know." And then uh, he uh, he called me to tell me that you know people recognize his last name a lot. So he, I said that Matt Weir said last name, last name, his last name, and they they say like, "Oh, that reminds me of this guy." And he goes, "Yeah, it's my son." He's like, "But now I don't say that." He's like, "Joy, I stopped saying that, you know, because we live in this world." And dude, I could just tell that he is like taking in so much conservative like media yeah. because of everything. Like the way that he talks now is like, you have to be careful about everything that you say. And like all of I was like, dad. And he's like, I won't tell anyone that I'm your father because I don't need me saying something. And then it gets uh, back to you. And then it gets back to you. And then people cancel you because of something I said. I was like, one, I actively talk about <laughs> you and the things that you say. And I'm like, and I even stretch it even further. Like, I don't like tell these, him this. These people know how fucking smushed your toothbrush was. They yeah. know every. They know everything about. I'm you. like that. I I confess everything about you all the time. And I'm like, I'm not worried about that at all. I'm like, Dad, I'm not gonna get canceled for shit that you say. Like, I don't fucking care. Bro. And he was like, All right, good, good to hear. I'll be right back. Yeah. He's just like, Hey, what's up, everybody? Yeah. <laughs> I got, Joe gave me the clearance. <laughs> all right, well, back to this. Back to this. Now, does your dad come back to Manhattan at all? Uh, he comes back when he has, like, doctor appointments and shit. <laughs> That's the most Italian shit ever. <laughs> Guy moved to North Carolina only comes back to New York to go to the doctor. Go to the fuck. Yeah, I, got, I mean, I gotta. And then he's like... <laughs> People call me Danny Low Priority, like, to this day. Yeah, my dad started that. But that it's yeah. Low Priority over here. And people call me that to this day. Yeah. So you well, talk to him all the time, though? Um, pro- At least, like, once a week, I would say, probably. Nice. There are some times where I don't talk to him for, like, a month. But like we'll hop on the phone, and this dude is incapable of talking for less than anything of an hour. But oh yeah, that's you got to lock him in. He for always goes. <laughs> yeah, he always does this thing too, where he uh, at the end of the phone call, he's like, "All right, well, send me the invoice, and I'll talk to you later." Because <laughs> he's like, "I know your time is money." Yeah, yeah. And then he's he's he always every single time he's trying to send me money every time but then he always takes it back and goes like he's like i he's like listen i hope you don't mind sometimes i send money to your sister your brother like help him out or for their birthday this and that he's like but i, I know you don't need it <laughs> i know that you don't need the money you got all the money in the world i know so he's like i want to send you something because he gets mad he at just me. sends it to be nice and takes it back well no he's, nobody said <laughs> basically no you know why he does that like a memo it's like love you and then like taking it back it goes oops no no no. (laughs) wrong son sometimes he this one time he sent me five hundred dollars in a check for my birthday and it took me like six months to cash it because like i just kept forgetting it was in my nightstand light change light light work for you yeah so (laughs) it was in my nightstand and then he was yeah bro he was giving me so much shit for this like it was like after a month he's like listen you know get that that check in there yeah and then after two months he's like joe listen like it's gonna <laughs> gotta get the check in there you know i know you whatever gonna bounce right after down. that it just became insulting what do you think that you don't need money like you don't think that it's like just put it in there how fucking hard is it and he's <sighs> like and then one time he called me and i didn't pick up he left me a voicemail hey moron i heard that now you can just take a picture of the check <laughs> and do it with your app why don't you do that? Are you too lazy to take a picture with your app? 
<laughs> That's what he's saying to me. Yeah. And he's so right, but <laughs> has he has he ever been in any of your content before? Yeah, he has. He has, but it's been like years, so. Yeah, he hasn't been in a while. But he, he was in a video that I did. Um, it was one of the first videos I did on the new like YouTube channel when I switched it over to Joe Santagato, mm -hmm. and it was called Meet the Santagatos. He was he was in that. Oh, jeez, you got you got to get him on the basement yard or something. I know, like one day when he's here, I, I want to do that. But the thing is, like, you know what it is? Like, I I need to spring it on him because well, if yeah. I tell him like, hey, when you come here, you know, next month or whatever, like, he'll I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do. He won't chicken out, but he'll like be prepared. Yeah, you don't want that. And I don't want him to be prepared. Like, I want him to just come natty. on and just be who he is yeah. and, like, say some borderline offensive shit so I can laugh. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. No, <laughs> so that's the thing. It's like, uh, I think if you spring it on him, it'll be awesome, but the episode will also be seven hours long. Yeah. I'd be like, listen, Dad, we got to fucking... Up. Or I'd be like, oh, we got to get to the ads. What the fuck is that? <laughs> and if then you I let your dad read an ad, you probably never get a sponsor. Well, first yet. of all, he can't read, can't see. So that's just not going to happen. Like, he's just not going to be able to read it. Would it? <laughs> the best is <laughs> the best is the day he called you and goes, hey, what's up? Uh, I'm outside. And we look outside and he's just in a big fucking Winnebago. Yeah. Yeah. Which I, I helped him pay for. He's like, I'll get it back to you. And I was like, oh, like you're taking this thing on tour, right? But he, uh, <laughs> he got a Winnebago. Do you remember that? And then we go in and he goes, look at this. And he pulls out a gun. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> My dad, we got in the window. We were all in there. We all went, whoa. <laughs> like, whoa. He's like, no, it's fake. It's fake. I'm like, take it easy, Joey. It's for the people that come and knock on the door. You yeah, know, I'm like, like they knock like, on the door. I'm like, what do you think someone's going to do? You pull out a gun. They're going to shoot you if they have one. Your dad's like the closest thing to Rodney Dangerfield that we have left on earth. I think. He probably, dude. He's an interesting guy. It, very interesting. Dude. And he's so, like, I haven't even, like. Lived a wild life. <sighs> I haven't even, like, tapped into how funny. I could be because of him. Like that whole bit just now, I had never even thought about. Like the, putting the check in the in the bank, it was such a <coughs> dramatic soap opera thing in my life, like a real thing in my life that every single dad, my, my dad would call me. I go, oh my god, why why wouldn't you do it? It's just like you. Just I, said, don't you <laughs> I don't know. I don't know because well, also my mail goes to my mom's, yeah, so like I'm still it like was there too. for a while, and my mom usually gives me mail and shit too, but. I just like would forget and it would just sit there and like, hey, but he moron. was so mad, bro, to the point where I would just pick up the phone and he would just be like, you put the check in. Like I say, hello. He go, you put the check he in wouldn't even say and, hello. I, and, I, and I just start laughing. He just hang up on me. He's like, this kid's going to fucking overdraft my account. Yeah. That's why, that's why he kept calling you. Well, uh, no, he just, he just needs like, I, I don't know, bro. Like the guy, he's, he's a, he's a character for sure. I love that guy. <laughs> um, come on the show for sure. Come on the show. Joey. Um, Joey. Um, the other question I wanted to ask is, uh, you know, doing like doing other people's podcasts. Like, do, do you like when hosts have like a set questions or you just like conversation? I don't know. I don't know that I have like a huge preference. I, I just did, uh, my friend Max's podcast it's called no soap and that oh, was yeah. pretty fun. Because there was nothing, and I had no idea. We didn't know what we were going to talk about at all. I'm you know, I'm, I'm going to take that little slut on the road with me. You know, Max? You know he, yeah, he told he me. Set He's like, yo, I did I did like seven yeah. minutes at Danny's show. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, he was just like, yeah, like, what's up? Like, can I go up? And, yeah, he's a, he's I was a like, fucking... I was like, yo, get up there, bro. Yeah, he's a fucking awesome dude. So Max is super cool. So Yeah, what? he's awesome. And I did his podcast, and it was mad fun. Um, actually, you know what? The only thing that we had talked about before we start, uh, started recording was the fact that the night before I had uh, been approached by someone to join Lucifer, which I agreed to do. What's, yeah, it was fire. What's Lucifer? Like like, like the like devil, this, I think? Like the fiery Satan god? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I keep getting hail the light. The guy keeps messaging me. On Instagram? Uh, yeah, he was he was messaging me on Instagram. He still messaged me, but I restricted him because I was like, all right, I'm over this. All right. But, but are they still taking applicants? Yeah, they are. But he literally was like, uh, you know, DM me now. Lord Lucifer is there to help you make your dreams come true. Apply to this message. You want to be extremely rich, famous, and powerful. Uh, and I said, Lucy, show me the way, bro. And then he said. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy. That's such a great name for Lucifer. Lucy. Lucy. Pussy. Come here. Come here, Lucy. Pussy Lucy. Fucking Lucy over here. And he said, are you ready to join the brotherhood? I said, I don't got to suck nobody or nothing like that, right? And he said, no, you're not going to share any blood. And then he put like a red teardrop. Oh. And he's like, Lord Lucifer is ready to make you rich and famous. And then I, <laughs> I said, I don't, I, I don't have to suck anyone. And he started talking about blood. And I was like, I was like, no, I meant like, and I was like, never mind. Um, and then he like 
you know, long story short, I asked him if I if asked he, him if, if he said no, I would have left already. I was like, yeah. I don't have to suck anybody. Oh, this club sucks. Yeah, this is fucking. Oh, I don't have to suck dick in here. This is gay. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this is the gay devil group. We're yeah. not sucking dick in here. Get out. I'm leaving, dude. Uh, then I asked if, if Joe Biden is a real person and they said we could talk about that some other time. <laughs> And then uh, I don't know if Joe Biden even knows if he's a real person. And then I go. Then he goes, I'm going to send you uh, an application. So he sends me the form and the form just says uh, your first and last names, your country, your age, a clear photo of yourself. And uh, what is your mission here? That was the whole application, right? What the fuck? He told me he's going to give me eight hundred thousand dollars, by the way, if I did this, then he said, fill it up <laughs> instead of fill it out. He said, fill it up and we move on ever backward. Never. <laughs> and so I said, never backward or move forward. And he said, we move forward and then did this. And I said, uh, where did you get the 800 K? And he said, hail the light. Hail Lord Luc Lucifer. And I said, facts. <laughs> and then I said, my mother is a Catholic. Is that a problem? And he's like, nah, nah. Cause I feel like most Catholics are in there already, I guess. But you know, yeah, so I, I joined Lou. Uh, I didn't, I didn't send my application. He keeps reminding me. He's like, you didn't send the application. You keep sending me that. Hail See, the light. I, I, I have no problem with joining like weird cult things. I like only, to have a cult. Only if I'm only if if we're coming though. There's got to be some sort of coming. There's got to be some sort of coming. <laughs> uh, did you see Haley Baldwin, uh, Haley Bieber on Call Her Daddy? No, I wanted to watch that actually. She said her favorite sexual position is doggy style. So I was just like, okay, Bieber. So is everybody else's. Yeah. What, like, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't think you can be Haley Bieber and give an answer like that. That's why I was very surprised. You got to have a cool one. Yeah. But how many, I can't even name positions, bro. I know missionary. I know doggy style. Well, let's do 69. a 69. 69. All right. So we got doggy style. 69. 69. Mish. Mish. Power drill. What's power drill? O like power drill slash oil rig. That's when like. Oil rig is very hard. Oil rig. You know oil rig, right? That's that, when they, they. They're upside down and you're digging your dick in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that. That's hard to do. Yeah. That's hard to pull off. It's hard to oil rig. Or There's what's the one? What do we call? Spooning doggy? Spoon dog? I've done that. Spoon dog. Spoon dog. But then also the one where it's like you cowgirl. Reverse cowgirl. Oh, those two. That's a good one. <laughs> but then is it's it's not missionary if her legs are are up here. No, 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 no. no that's different. Bent over and you're fucking coming down on that thing. That, what's that? that? That's that. That's. It's uh, like a pile driver. Pile driver. Okay. I think that's what it's called. I think it's okay. called a pile driver. Okay. Then there's like um, side. You know what I like to do? It's like side doggy where they're here. Yeah. But like you're 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 regular. Yeah. It's like oh a yes yes ninety degree yeah ninety degree fuck. I I've done this before where it's like she's on her back and then you cross her legs. Oh yeah 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 scissors. But that's scissors. that's scissors for straights. Yeah scissors for. Lezzy's yeah, is a completely for, different thing. Scissors for sisters is this one. Yeah, that's sister scissoring. The sister scissoring. But dude scissoring. Dude scissoring. Du dude and girl scissoring. Windsh windshield wiper? Which one's that? That's when, like, if you're bringing their legs back. Oh, if you're going back and forth. Back and forth with the legs. Yeah, yeah. That would, be, that would be the windshield wiper, of a course. Bit of that. Like yeah. a little little like, young jock move. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hit her with the young, young jock. jock. Uh, but there's that one. Then there's uh, standing. Who does that? I, I, I don't know. Do you like to stand? Yeah, fuck no. Yeah, what are we working standing, out? Standing's horrible. Yeah, it's standing's not horrible. The other thing too is like, wait, I'm she not, said she, I'm not very tall, so it's like tippy toes, like and my calves start hurting. Yeah, you know, I, I I don't feel that tall when I'm standing. Also, I don't have a fucking ten inch penis to be like nah, we're gonna stand and I'm can't. gonna like get it up and like in. Very hard to get your what dong. What are we talking about? Very here? hard to get your dong in a in a position where you're like you're happy with it. And that's yeah, situation. yeah, it's a toughie. It's a toughie for but, sure. Yeah, but Haley Baldwin saying like she's uh, like oh I like dog age. She's like oh, I like but how'd she follow it up? She's like I like to get fucking railed. No, she was just like, we like switch up positions. Like we switch. Like, you know, we don't have like go-tos. We don't have like whatever. That girl, that girl like. That's kind of weird that you don't have go-tos. There's like eight. I know. That's the thing. You got to have go-tos. There's we, eight positions. We just named them all too. I know. There's, there's only so many What's ways. What's your least favorite? Um, least favorite sex position. Hmm. That's a good question. Mm. Least favorite. Stay, I would have to say st standing. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, that was an easy one. I would, I would I would have to say standing any any time standing because it's just like like you said, my penis isn't big enough. For this. Yeah, I don't, like I, don't. I can't. It, this is too much. Also, I would have to be like 
six four having sex with like a five foot two chick. Yeah, and you have to like it's weird. Yeah, like like I have to have some kind of platform esque. Also, it can't be that great for them. No. You know, no, like no, no, I think no. that's more for show. That's more for show, and it's also like we've never done this before. Yeah, like can you we, know what I can mean. We just lay down. Yeah, lay, lay lay down is that's what beds were made for for sleep and sex. Yeah, you know what else do you do in a bed? Die. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the idea of a deathbed is weird. Like it, it, <laughs> if if I ever had like a family member that had a, like died in a bed, I'm throwing the bed away legitimately immediately there's people that keep beds that people die in though like they'll keep them freaks yeah they'll be like yeah like you know like yeah this is uh, my, my grandma bro. died in this room i'm like dude burn this whole room also bro. if anyone died in, in yeah. anywhere burn it i don't want to be like i'm not gonna go in there and play fucking ps5 now bro, my mom is my favorite person in this world if she died in my car i would cut my lease short yeah dude I'd just get a new car yeah I, I, a bed that would be an easy one to toss You'd be reminded of this person that meant so much to you dying okay. every time. And like, imagine it's like, oh, yeah, like sleep in the guest room. It used to be my mom's room. She died in there. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Now I'm going like, to nah. subject my friends to ghosts? Yes, I'm not th- doing that. There's dead air in there. Dead air in there. Somebody bre- breathed their last breath in there, Ugh. dude. Somebody ran out of heartbeats in this room. <laughs> <laughs> ran out of heartbeats. They ran out of heartbeats in this room, dude. Yeah, I and can't. Now, and now they're, now, they're, now they're dead. Yeah. I, I If anyone ever dies in my house, I'm getting a new house. Yeah, you got to get a new house. You know what I mean? I used to hate that, too. You, my friend, Eric, had a house where his parents bought the house, and they... I don't know if you have to tell this in real estate or not, but a guy, the last guy that owned the house, hung himself in the attic. <laughs> Why the attic? Beams, feel, beams, 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 beams. There's a scientific reason why people go for the beams. <laughs> beams, 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 beams. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why? You can't hang yourself in the I, kitchen, I, yo, really. Honestly, I think hanging yourself in the attic is pretty cliche and dramatic. Like, everyone hangs himself in the attic, Yeah, bro. yeah. I'm going to hang myself from in the, the kitchen. Yeah, I'm going to hang myself from the basement. Yeah, get some creative going. No, yeah. people do in the basement, That's too. true, too. No, people shoot themselves in the basement. Shoot yourself in the basement. And that <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> Whatever happened to the kitchen? Whatever happened to the kitchen? Whatever happened, happened to the good old kitchen? I would say... It's, it's only t- murder in kitchens, top, bro. Top three... Top three... Uh, like kill yourself rooms are attic basement bathroom bathrooms up there yeah. yeah 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 nothing ever happens in the living room you ever realize that no that's that's where passion happens because people are too happy in the living room well it's like, like oh we're not gonna kill myself while this is on well you know me i'm a little <laughs> i'm a little wackadoodle too so like you know what i mean i've gone through my things so you know <laughs> yeah. like you know if, so he if, could say this you know yeah, i could say this i could say this as somebody who's dealt with suicidal thoughts there if i'm go. just chilling and you know in my living room not feeling too great and veggie tales comes on like i might give it a day that's what i'm saying you know i might take the day off but the attic is dark and scary yeah the beams you you got, beams. Beams. you got 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 beams, dude. Those beams are talking to you. You know what I mean? It becomes it becomes a thing. You know what I mean? And the and the other thing too is like like with me, it was like I was just gonna pretend I was Superman. You know what I mean? I was like, I'm going. Oh, you were gonna do the big dive. I was gonna do human square. Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed style. Nice. You know what I mean? No bag of fucking hay down there. Yo, also that's not that's not saving you. That's complete bullshit. Yeah, complete bullshit. Also, <laughs> the other thing too is like if if I were to ever do that. I hope I never get to a point where like I'm thinking about that doing that again. I'll I've tell come, you what, I've come a long way. Yeah, yeah. I tell you what, you ever do that in front of me? I'm beating your corpse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beating up your corpse. I remember one time to- Joe said to me one time. He goes, "Listen to me." He goes, "You ever kill yourself? I'll bring you back to life and kill you." <laughs> That's called yeah. emotional support, fellas. <laughs> Cause it was like you know I went to the hospital. If you ever kill yourself, I will kill you. <laughs> Listen, Joe looks me dead in the face. He goes, he goes, look at me. <laughs> you ever kill yourself? I'll bring you back to life and I'll kill you. <laughs> I was like, okay, I won't do it. That's crazy. But listen, man. Um, yeah, you know what? On that note, on 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 <laughs> on, on beams. Uh, beams. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's the beams. I, w- I wanted to thank you for coming. People have be- been waiting a long time. And um, 
to, to hear us talk to each other. I think a lot of people made it a, a lot bigger of a deal than it was. <laughs> Um, but it was, it, I wanted to say though, like when a written, written, like, uh, initially happened, everybody was so nice. You yeah. know what I mean? And people are still so nice. I think people just got so used to seeing us with each other doing things Yeah, that, you know, when, when, when something like that happens, you know what I mean? You, you lose your bird a little bit. You know what I mean? Lose your bird. Well, like I, I wasn't even in New York. Oh, I don't even know what that expression means. Lose your bird means like you lose your, like, you know, you, you're you going through something. Got it, got you, it, got it. You know it. what I mean? Yeah. A lot of people just suggested that we hated each other. Oh, no, bitch. it was a pandemic. It was all types of shit going on. Pandemic, pan Danny. Yeah, it's just, a just, pan just, Danny. Pan, to pan Danny. Pam and Danny. You know what I mean? It's just a lot of things going on. Dude, I'm already at the point where I'm looking back at the pandemic like, holy shit, that happened. Yeah, honestly, the, the pandemic feels like it was like somehow in like 1850 it was such a wild like thing that we all kind of like went through like it was and honestly like <laughs> i said i tried to say this to frankie the other day and he was like because i was like yo honestly the pandemic and he goes what it was not so bad it was pretty cool is that what you're gonna say because i was gonna <laughs> say that yeah i know because I, I was gonna say like you know it was it felt like obviously it was terrible but it felt interesting is the word I'll use to experience something to like experience that. something like that because sure. the entire world was going through the same thing at the same time. Yeah, it was fucking you crazy. Know what I mean? And I thought that was a little obviously it was bad circumstances, but I thought it was just like a crazy feeling because when does that ever happen? Like how like never in my grandparents, I, I guess the world wars. <laughs> Like our grandparents didn't even see anything like that. They just saw their entire high school class get murdered. <laughs> trap yeah that actually never mind but like i thought that was wild to be like wow like that was our vietnam everything it, <laughs> it really was it really was bro every day you just turned on the news yo if you watch three thousand people have i'm like jesus if you watch the basement yard episode that we did before the pandemic it's bad it's bad because we were just making fun of the entire thing, and I was just like, "Nah, like, yo, I think this is like really serious." And <laughs> I'm you're like, like, "Shut nah. up!" You're like, "It's mad cow disease in my school. Like, this will be fine." <laughs> we had swine flu. We made it out all right. <laughs> and then we remember just being like, "Oh fuck!" Yeah, we <laughs> fucked up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that episode we're wearing gloves and masks and shit like fucking idiots i was we're, like yeah we might have to bang that one i was <laughs> like you know i was like people are gonna look back this is history bro Yo, that's funny i actually want to go back and, and watch that episode because Just american ignorance oh my god so good that episode is hilarious i want to go back and watch it because i don't even know what we said because but i'm sure it's super wild offensive. shit wild shit yeah it, honestly it was probably one of my favorite episodes that we did really yeah because we were just like yeah like this is fucking crazy and you know me because like i'm a hypochondriac yeah you i think probably, every, i think everything's a pandemic that sort of thing <laughs> you were probably freaking out and i was like bro like <laughs> you were you were just like yo bro it's like yo i had mad cow disease in my school like yo, like, it was swine and, flu. And, and I was like, yo, it's in America. You were like, yeah, like one guy in like Texas has it. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, you'll be fine. Well, I probably I, <laughs> you'll be fine. And then the whole fucking world turned off. The whole world's like, yo, hold up, the fuck is going on? And, oh my god, bro, I'm just so happy. Like we never got subpoenaed for that episode. <laughs> you god, know what that I mean? is it's funny. Like, it's like us and Alex Jones. <laughs> Just being like in court, and be like, I, I might have said that. I don't Relax, know. you fairy. <laughs> COVID, fourteen days, stop the spread, easy. Um, you remember that? We thought it was gonna be fourteen days. I started drinking wine every day. <laughs> Yo, people reschedule their weddings like forty times. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie was one of them, bro. He had his wedding, pushed it twice. No yeah. wedding. Remember he said to us in a group chat, though? He was like, yo, guys, going to move my wedding to March. And we both were like, dude, you're not getting married. <laughs> I do remember that. It's like fucking 400,000 people dying, dude. <laughs> yeah, he was like, Think yeah. we're going to find time to get married? It's like, I don't know. We're going to try and figure out something for March. I was like, figure out something for March? Yeah, f figure out how to stay alive, baby. <laughs> not get married. <laughs> It's like crazy. Do you know what's going to happen to your grandparents if you go through with this? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yo, guys, we had to cancel the wedding. Looking at next weekend. I was just <laughs> like, yo, I was like, yo, guys, that deposit is gone, bro. Oh. That shit is a wrap. Oh, my God. Oh, good times. It's crazy because, like, we are legit. Like, I feel like we're kind of out of it. 
Yeah, yeah. The pandemic. Well, well, uh, jo- uh, Sleepy Joe said. Oh my god, that's what he said. He was like, "Yo, we're done with the pandemic." I'll be. Uh, did, you remember? Did you did you laugh when he fell off his bicycle, bro? I I laughed. Yeah, I laughed. What the, do you mean, dude? The leader of the free world fell off a bike. That's fucking hysterical, <laughs> dude. So, my favorite part about that. Whoa, too, whoa, whoa, whoa. One, <laughs> old dude falls off a bike solo, like by itself, hysterical. Even funnier was the reactions from both sides. Like the, the <laughs> his big supporters were like, "How dare you? That's an old man." I'm like, I, "That's the funniest part." Yeah, that's the that's funniest why part. That's it's funny. And then on cons- the conservative media was just like, Th- "Like this is our leader. This guy. <laughs> this guy with falls cut off, off gloves? a bike. Who falls off a bike? Like it was like blown out of proportion. How can you possibly you know, lead a country and not know how to ride a bike? You know, Trump loved that." First of all, oh the worst God. the worst thing about the fall too is that he's St- he stopped. <laughs> he's, bro. In, he's in full bike regalia too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! He's got the gloves and shit. He's got those fucking. Whose idea was it to put this old fuck on a bike? I put him on a I put him on a bike and then also give him fucking those goddamn pedal sleeves or whatever oh. the hell they are. Those pedal. By the way, those are for children. I just love you. He's like, hey everybody. Oh! <laughs> They were like, is he been shot? He's like, no, I just fell. Guy oh can't even God. ride a bike. Uh, and you said you didn't watch the Marilyn Monroe movie, right? No. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Marilyn Manson before, but yeah, yeah. I haven't watched it. I heard it was fucking garbage. Yeah, though. so we're talking about it. I go, yo, you see the new Marilyn Monroe movie? <laughs> and Joe goes, nah. I go, yeah, uh, uh, Ana de Armas plays uh, Marilyn. And he goes, wait a second, what? I go, what? And he, he goes, goes, yeah. And he goes, how the fuck does that work? And then he thought that Marilyn Monroe was was Marilyn Manson. But I also didn't know at that point. I knew at the point where you were like, yeah, and like in it, like JFK was like trying to make her uh, blow him. And I was like, wait. Then I was like, oh, Marilyn Monroe, (laughs) which I knew, like I knew that she did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why when you said Marilyn, I don't know why I thought Marilyn Manson. I was like, why would she play him? Like, I know he had tits for a little bit, but like what? It was so weird. And, And the guy that played JFK, like didn't even sound like JFK. It's like, suck my dick. No, it was, yeah, it wasn't. It was like, suck my cock. Come on, Marilyn, suck the president's cock. Where was he from? Uh, Massachusetts. Oh, my God, he was? Yeah, he used to like be on like Martha's... He, they, they got a compound out there. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, um, I, I think that's it. I think that uh, I think I think we, we, we wrap this up. Yeah, um, bro, turn up. The other thing, too, is... Um, also, where can they uh, find this hot sauce? I wanted to ask you a question about the hot sauce before before we hopped off. Was when you guys came up with everything bagel? Yeah, was it for your like actual love of everything bagels, or were you just like looking in the market and being like, "There's no fucking hot sauce for everything bagels"? Um, no. So it wasn't like an uh, our like idea necessarily. So like how it worked is we reached out to them, and then after like a couple of meetings and then we decided like we're going to work together they just bring us like a bunch of sauces that they were trying mm. so uh a lot of these companies do that too because the factory that makes them we went there it's in pennsylvania and uh that's when you guys were wearing like hair nets and shit yeah so they they and that company they like do a bunch of different sauces so when we went there they had like 30 sauces that mm. were like they uh, there's no label on them yet they're like trying them out so they like just put shit together so they had uh, the first tasting that we went to. There was about six bottles on the table, and that one caught my eye first because it's not typically like the same color as like hot sauce. Yeah, yeah, that's the best. I think that's one of the best things about that hot sauce. Yeah, it definitely makes it, you go, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah, you're like, "What the fuck is that?" Um, and then uh, there was there's writing on it, but it's all like abbreviated, so I didn't really know what it was. But I opened it, and I was I smelled it. And I was like, "Oh, is that like everything bagel?" And he's like, "Yeah." And then we tried all the other sauces and, and there were some good ones there that we may use in the future because we're doing three sauces with them. Um, but that sauce, when we were, we, we just kept eating it, but it wasn't hot at yeah. that point. Yeah. Like it was hot. We, we still had to make like a, we made like fucking seven or eight, I would say. Like variations. Like variations. Yeah. And there was a point where, like, it came back, and we're like, oh, no, I completely ruined it, so it's like, whatever, and then we finally got it to what it is now, and we really liked it. Um, but the, when we had it that first night, it wasn't hot at all, and we all had, like, chips and, like, pretzels and stuff, and we just kept eating it. Got it. So when we left there, we were still kind of deciding between, uh, you know, which sauce we were going to kind of, like, use as, like, the starting point and then, like, move in a different direction. And then it hit me of being, like, 
from a marketing standpoint and just like uh, getting the message across to, to people, like everything bagel is probably the easiest move because people already know what that tastes like, what it and, smells and, like. So they have an expectation. Rec- recognizable name too. Everybody's exactly. had everything bagel. So I, I was like, yo, we should do that. Like that's like definitely the one that we should go with. And we had had conversations even before, you know, we did a tastings that we wanted to do something that was like, it didn't have to be like super New York inspired, but loosely something about it had to have been like with New York since me and Greg are both from New York. That's why we wanted to do something like that. So I was like, dude, this is like a fucking home run in my eyes for this thing. If we can make this like hotter and make it like an actual hot sauce. And I, Cause at that point it was just like a dip. And I was like, let's just do that. And then we started Googling and we realized no one ha- has made this. Like, yeah. what the fuck? How do they have not made that? And I was like, and, that, and then I was like, we definitely have to do it now. No one's done it. Like, we get to say the world's first. Did everything. You, did you guys sauce. like have to like patent it? Like, like, uh, can, can you own a flavor? Yeah, a recipe. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so which got, all that. You, yeah. you guys had to like do all the like the the legal shit. Yeah. So you know, there may be in the future like other other products that stem from that that aren't hot sauce, but maybe like cut that boy a check though. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, so like no. so the, the initial launch went crazy, sold out. Is it, is it back in stock now or is it out? Yeah, no, it's back in stock. It's been back in stock. Where can it, where, where where can they find it? Uh, you can go to heatness.com or type in everything bagel hot sauce into Google or go to secrethandshake.shop. All of those will take you to where you need to go, but fucking sauce is is doing well. They said and Heatness who we work with, they're, we're 50/50 partners with with them. They're they were saying like it's one of their best selling sauces right now. So Good for you. Yeah, kids are fucking crazy. Marketing genius. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you. This kid inspires me every day. the the, the last The last question uh, that I have because yeah. I know you're busy. Um, he's not busy. <laughs> not no, not. Um, but I, I don't want that episode to be four hours long. Um, as somebody who's like been as successful as you are, and I know you're very like you're all shucks. Like you know, you're you're not like flashy you're not out like being like yo like this but you're a successful guy people people see it people have been with you for a long time where do you and you're still very young what are you 30 years old yeah you're 30 where do you where do you kind of see yourself in 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 like five years from now do you have five years do you have like a five-year plan or you just like kind of just like you're going from like project to project or is there something else like you want to do bigger is do you still have aspirations for shows do you still have aspirations for whatever I, th- I think that my five year, 10 year and 15 year plan are all very similar in that like I, I especially recently have been very aware of like, yo, I'm doing what like I always wanted to do and not even that and even more specific than being like, I get to entertain people, you know, like, no, I get to go to an office business like and literally if we have an idea just fucking make it happen like it's 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 even inspiring to me to <laughs> as fucking like uh narcissistic as that sounds but to to sit there and be like oh i have an idea we should do a hot sauce and then now we're doing it like and it's like a thing that's happening like that is enough for me to always feel like oh i'm gonna be able to do that you know like it gives me some blind confidence yeah for sure i like sort of had but then when it's validated with these well, that's things like, along the way that's like most of it though like the, yeah the confidence is like most of it yeah to just be like yeah i'm gonna I'm, I'm just gonna do that like and then it ends up happening is like you know one it's 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 not that it's inspiring that was the wrong word to use it just kind of sets the blueprint of like oh you know what this is actually with the position that I'm in now, obviously the infrastructure with the, with too. the, uh, with the audience, it's like, no, you can do that. Like you can do those things. You can do whatever you want. So like my, in five years, what am I going to be doing? I'm still going to be like podcasting and doing the things that I'm doing now, but who knows? Like I could wake up tomorrow and be like, I want to fucking do this. And then like, if we decide to, you know, you know, put our foot in the ground and like do it, then like, uh, why should I believe that we can't? When, when like we've done this a couple of times with like you know the 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 pay the price the game and now the hot sauce and like the podcast and stuff like that's a, what how, what's a better dream it's it's literally like having like a quote unquote fantasy factory like you go into work and you do these things and we try to make it all run like every single week and then it it happens and then eventually you're just like oh I have an idea and if it's a good enough idea that inspires you enough to get off your ass and you start doing it like I feel like I've I have like a, a a team now that it can fucking happen. Love it. It's crazy. Love it. So like the studio you have now, 
I remember you always talked about like yo, like I want, like I want to do that. So yeah. like that, that was, I was super happy when I found out. I was like, oh, what? like this is great. Like I knew, obviously, I knew about it before. Like the public knew about it. So it's like one of those things. I'm like, I'm like, he's wanted that for so long. Yeah, I I, I wanted to get out of my apartment just because I feel like it's it's better to have like, it's easier to have a morning routine when you're not in your fucking apartment. Yeah. You know, like I have to get up and I have to sit on the fucking BQE. I have to sit in traffic there. I have to sit in traffic on the way home unless I like work late, which I've been doing lately and it's actually way better. <laughs> oh, dude. Just as long as I can get home, like I don't care what time, like whatever, but... Well, that's the best thing nice. about working late is there's nobody outside. Yeah, it's you great. You know what I mean? Like it's 5.13, you might hit a little bit of traffic. Yeah, I'm gonna get home at eight. You're gonna get home at eight. Uh, <laughs> no, but, no, but I hear you. It's like, for me... I I I uh I almost enjoy the opposite, but you're way less productive if you work out of your house. Well, I it's just 100%. And I, you can't do anything. I think it has a means to an end because I did enjoy it. I think that it helped me tremendously when I was starting and it was like like more new to me. I, I mean, I did it for like fucking 8 years basically yeah. in my apartment. So I just just got this thing last November, but I I do enjoy having that because it's like it, it forces me to be more regimented, which I felt like when you have success and, and now I, ha you know, it's good to have Greg because he's, he's someone who's going to be like, bro, like he's going to like hold me to a certain standard. Yeah, yeah. But if there was no one like that, there's way less incentive to like get up and get going early or yeah. like do something like that. And also without the office, it's like, well, I have nowhere to be. I just have to be fucking down the hall. Like maybe I stay in bed for an extra thirty minutes, or I, yeah. uh, you know what, I'm not going to go to the gym. I'm just going to, and it's like Greg's a very you know. Greg's a very good realism motivator. Yeah, and he's he just has a fucking battery in his back, so it's like I yeah, can't. He's charged up all the time. Yeah, and I can't fucking. I'm not going to get get away with shit, you know. Like and and which is fine. I like I you you need that. Like sometimes you yeah. need people who are just going to like not suck your cock, yeah, or just like constantly like push you and have someone that. Technically, it works for me, but I don't want to let him down. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, you know, he's like, like your dad. He's basically. Like, he's, yeah, he's like your work dad. You're <laughs> yeah, like, you don't basically. want to make him upset. He's like, oh, yeah, I don't yeah. want to get in trouble. I got to get this done. I love, have you met his baby yet? Have I? Yes, I have. <laughs> I have, I have, I have. But I, I wasn't allowed to because I, like, I went to Miami yeah. and then, like, his, his wife was like, fuck this. I so, want, I want, uh, I got to get his address. I keep forgetting to get his address. I, I have it. I know it. Send it, send it to me because I, I I got something for the baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. I, I can't. I mean, you probably know what it is. Yo, this whoever this girl is on my TV has fat ass tits. Yeah, bro. what's going on over there? What is there? this thing called? Bullet Bullet Train. Oh my God! Wait, that's Brad Pitt and some girl with big ass titties, dude. I'm looking that up. What's the name of the thing? Bullet Bullet Train? Bullet Train. Brad Pitt's in it. Bullet Train. But yeah, Greg's cast. baby. Uh, uh <laughs> Joey King. Joey King. Oh my That's God, what age. Oh, she's 23. Thank God. Oh God. Jesus Christ. That was scary. Yeah, she was dressed a little young. -ish. She was, yeah, I don't school, know. She had a backpack on yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they knew what they were doing. That and what, sweater. And what's Greg's baby's name again? Iris. Iris. Was there a, is there a Genesis? What was that? A Genesis, like uh, the Genesis of the name. Like, does it come from like one of their oh, grandmas? Oh, uh, I have no idea. That yeah. I don't know. I learned that from some show, and I've used that the entire time. What's the genesis? What's the genesis? <laughs> but yeah, bro. Uh, so it's November, bro. I'm getting married in like six months. I know. It's going to be fucking sick, dude. I'm going to go to fucking Spain. It's going to get... Uh, yeah, it's going to be hot. I'm hyped about that because... I'm so happy that you travel now, dude. I, I've told I you this off the show, but I remember like when we first did shows, I was like, yo, you ever oh. want to go to Italy? And you were like, no. No, well, I, that still stands true. Not not that I don't <laughs> want to go to Italy, but you were like, yo, you don't want to go to Italy and like see where your family came from? I'm like, I have literally, I care less about that. Give me the hotel and jacuzzi slut. Legit, like, yeah. I, I'm going to go to Italy, but it's like, yeah, I'm going to go see Amalfi Coast. It's like, oh, but your family's from this little village in Naples. I'm like, great. They can have a great time over there. <laughs> I could really care less. That's Those motherfuckers don't have AC or Wi-Fi. It's good. I'll send a drone over there. Yeah, like no. that's about send it. Send me pics. Send but, me a postcard. But I love that you're like traveling and shit. You know, you know why so, I love doing it, bro? It's uh, awesome. It's it makes me super uncomfortable, and I think that like as you move on in your life, and it's like especially like for me, like if there are certain parts of my life where I, there's not a lot of stressors where a lot of people have them and I don't have them. So if I don't create my own, then I become a piece of shit because I'm not very elaborate, motivated. On like people, uh, 
I think I am a person that is not, I don't have like a great work at work ethic. I just need to be pushed and yeah. then I can, you know, do it. And once I get started, like I need to be jump started and then like I can work, but it's like starting is very hard for me. Yeah. So like if I'm not motivated by money anymore, because I'm not, because I don't, I'm in a position now where I don't need to be, because I have that luxury. It's, it's, not that anyone should feel bad for me or anything. No, no, no. But yeah, yeah. It's, it's like th- what that does also for a person who's like weak minded like I am is like it, it it gives me less incentive to like, oh, I need to go extra hard on this or, or do that sort of right. thing or whatever. And it was the same thing with like, um, that's why I love running so much now too. Like yeah. I've been running a lot because I'm like, I fucking hate this. Like this yeah. is fucking brutal. Running doesn't care how rich you are. Yeah, and it's like <laughs> it's just like dude, it's going to suck. Regardless. And it, there's just, you know, the more comfortable you get, like the more successful you get, like obviously you can get more comfortable and you can get complacent, and I have a tendency to do that. So now what I've been doing especially in the last like year or so is trying to create very uncomfortable parts of my life, which is why, you know, like the uh the studio is like i have to get there you know i have to be there at a certain time and we have to record on these days gotta upkeep it i have to get up earlier in the morning i have to go fucking run on days that i don't want to in the fucking rain or whatever the fuck you know like i have to do stuff like that like these things are super important to me and traveling always gave me a bunch of anxiety and i wanted to do it but it was just like my comfort zone and and no one's going to force me to go because none of the friends that i would hang out all the time at that at that point like we couldn't travel anywhere. Like nowhere. we were like yeah. younger and shit too. Like we were not going anywhere. The bread's not there too for everyone. To yeah. Go like, you know, like it's hard to put together, but now the group of friends that I have now, like they want to do shit like that. And and we're 30. So like people have money now and, and can afford to travel and shit. And it's like, they want to go. So, my, if my friends go, you we have go. to go to Greece. Like, what am I going to do? I'm not going to go. Like, what's my reason? I just don't want to go or I'm scared to go. But, and I am like nervous to go. Yeah. yeah but yeah. like, I, I have to do it. And now I feel like I've, I've gotten to the point where I'm like a little bit over the hump. Like definitely with the, the Greece trip, I, I like said yes. Cause I knew I had to go. Yeah. Like dude. I knew I had to do that for myself, Yeah, but I was like super sure. nervous. So I did it. And then afterwards I was like, Oh, I can, I can, I did it. You know, like I did, I was all the way on that side of the earth. Like obviously there's a whole other part that you right, can get but to. You, you literally, the, the thing is here, my, th- my thing with a plane is right. Here's my thing is that I, once it's up, I can't control anything. Yeah. That's the part that like freaks me out. It's like, Oh my God, we can't pull over. We can't whatever. But it's, it's also like, you gotta just I'm like not submit. afraid of flying. I don't know what it is. It's like, it's more so the idea of having no control. Maybe. No, because when I'm on a plane, I'm not afraid. Like I'm not scared. Okay. Like uh, and and it, it's it's a very weird thing. And also, like when I'm at the place I'm at, like I'm also having a great time. It's more so just like something I create in my head before I get to the airport, before I get you know whatever. Like the days leading up to it's it, it's very is stressful. Worse than it's anything. very stressful. I, 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 pl- I don't planning, know what it is. Planning like a long trip. It's just out of your comfort zone. It's not your everyday routine. And it's, it's, not. it's not your everyday routine and it's uncomfortable to do things like that. So it's like you just psych yourself out and you're like, oh, I'm just not going to do that. And then also if you do that enough, which I've done, you convince yourself like, oh, I don't even like that. You know, I don't, I don't whatever. Like I, I remember when I was younger, I didn't, I, I used to tell people like, oh, I, I don't like seafood or I would lie. And I say, oh, it just does. It makes my stomach like all fucked up. Like I would just say, that's just something yeah. I would say. And I believed yeah. it because I just didn't want to branch out into other foods. Well, that's why like, uh, like I, I remember I used to be like, yo, like let's go get sushi. And you were like, nah. No. And then like, I'll see you on like Instagram and you're eating sushi. I'm yeah. like, yo, this kid's going for it. That, yo, I'm telling you, this is a very like decently new thing in my life. Like the last like three or four years where it's like, I will do anything. Like within reason, like I still don't think I could jump out of a fucking plane or anything like that. Like yeah, that, nah, that's me. Nah, I'm like, nah, I'm nah, too nah, pussy nah. for that. But like, I will do whatever and I'll go whatever. And because now I'm just addicted to this idea of like, fuck, this is going to suck or this is scary or whatever. Like, but I'm just going to walk and get through it because it's always such a rewarding feeling on the other side to be like, fuck, I, I just did that thing. And, and, Hell yeah. and then when people look at you like, oh my God, I can't believe you did that. And then, you know, in your head, 
what they're doing to themselves because it's not that hard like especially when it's things that you can afford to do and you know whatever you, you and don't have you, an excuse you hear people give the same excuses that you've given yourself and you go oh man i had to get over that and it's going to take some time and some pushing from other people but once you decide to do it you're going to see how fucking stupid it is yeah and yeah, like no, I, that's I why you. i'm uh, i'm truth. like yo i what am i going to do i'm gonna be a fucking picky eater like i hate that shit well that's now it's like yo go try different foods like I'm not, I'm not saying I was the one that taught you this. I'm not saying that. But I remember we would have conversations about it. No, dude, there's a ton of things that you have, like, definitely pushed me to do and, like, made me, like, question myself in, in a way of, like, you know, and I, I don't, like, I don't know them, like, off the top of my head, but there were definitely things, like, in the time where we would sit next to each other every fucking day that... I will have with me for the rest of my life. And no, like, I'm completely same. open to that. It's the same. You know what I'm I mean? A, I'm a, like, uh, even like when, when I did stand up, right? Like, uh, you used to sit down with me all the time and be like, yo, bro, you need to do stand up. Like, what's wrong with you? And I would always make excuses like, oh, you know, it's like this. And like, I got like this things. And you'd be like, none of that makes sense. Yeah. And like, you get defensive almost in a way. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, we got the dogs over here. <laughs> they scared the shit out of me. You get like defensive in a way, just being like, "Oh yeah," but like, like you said, you convince yourself you don't even want to do that. Yeah. It's like, "Oh, I don't need to do stand up." And I, then like, "Yo, when I did it, it was the greatest night of my life." There you go. And that's what I'm saying. It's like it's it's just scary and uncomfortable, and like there everyone. I, I feel like uh, because you did it, I did it. Like I think this is something that people do all the time, and you know the things that you lie about, and you know the things that you make up excuses for. And there's going to come a point in your life where you're just going to, I guess you'll be in the mood and you'll be like, fuck it, I'm going to do this shit. Or like, you know what? I've been lying this whole time. I don't, I don't actually know if I like sushi or not. I just thought that it would be gross. I was nervous that I was going to get food poisoning if I ate raw fish. So I'm going to blah, 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 whatever things you created. Yeah, yeah. Just do it. Just like, do just it. do it and, and just fucking deal with it and, and you'll be fine. You know, like my thing, my thing now too is like as somebody who's like, you know, uh, I've t like a sticky sock vacation. Like I've been to like a, 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 you know, I've been on a psych ward and shit and went <laughs> sticky sock. Vacation. So when I came out of there though, it's like, it's almost one of those things where you're like, yo bro, like with the stand up shit, it was like, bro, I don't want to be on my deathbed. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be on my death deathbed being like, yo, you had an opportunity to like perform on Broadway. And you didn't do it. Yeah. Like, yo, you're going to hate yourself for the rest of your life, bro. That, this is how people end up fucking hating themselves. I know, Because bro. they they just don't try things. Yeah, and also, like, I think uh, also, like, don't, like, just pick a thing. Like, pick a big thing. And, like, if it costs a lot of money or if it's, you know, whatever, like, save for it. Don't get distracted and just, like, get those things done, whatever they are. Like, and, and for me, it's shit that's not even that big. Like, obviously, like, a Greece trip co costs a lot of money to go, to go there or whatever. But for me, it was even, like, dude, eating certain foods. Like, that's how simple it was. But those little wins when you're, like, I've been lying this whole time or I convinced myself that I didn't like this or I just, like, said it. And, like, this stems from just being a kid and being a picky eater, which is fine. But, like... Now you're an adult. Like, bro, just fucking do it. Stop being a fucking bitch, dude. Just yeah, do but it. Also, like... Those little wins add up, and then it gets to the point where now you're enjoying yourself on a beach in Greece. It's very nice. An another thing, though, is like... See, like, you almost... There's two things. Expanding your palate is one of the best feelings in the world. When yeah. you taste something for the first time, it just fucking rocks your fucking socks. Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. Every time like, I go I'll, to dinner, I try to do that. in two seconds. Every time I go to dinner now, I if I see something on the menu that I don't know what it is, I will order it. Well, that's the other thing, too. It's like, like I used to buy a whole bunch of shoes. Like, I was just telling you, I sold, like, three quarters of my collection and shit. And it's like, yo, like, I'd rather spend money on experiences now yeah. than, like a, like, a fucking sweatshirt. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it just doesn't make sense. Like, I'd rather try some fucking weird-ass beef. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, like, go eat somewhere or get on a plane and go fucking... Be with my girl. Go be with my family somewhere. And maybe, maybe this isn't true, but it's true for me right now. But I think the most important thing is to not like be in a not. It's not that to not be in a routine, but to break the routine routinely. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> because, yeah. No, that makes sense. Because what are we if we aren't just a bunch of like stories? You know, like people talk about like the story of your life or whatever. Like if if your routine hasn't changed in years what does that say? Like you've been on the same page, you know what I mean? And I, I really think about that a lot of like, I, I want to be able, I want to be an interesting person. I want to be able to say stuff and like be a part of conversations where I'm not like, whoa, like blown away by some of the things I hear or like 
understand what it's like to be in in Europe or yeah, fucking gotta, wherever. But, like, but you got to experience it to be able to. Yeah, talk you about have it. to. You have to like take take yourself outside of your comfort zone. And, and I know that completely of being in a comfort zone and doing the same things for years, 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 and years. And I'm bro, I'm fucking thirty, and I just started doing this. People do this for their whole life. Yeah. But I'm just starting to do it, and I'm telling you, this is like I'm, I'm the most always, addicting thing in the world. I'm always jealous of people that were like so traveled and they're like 24 years old. Yeah, I'm and like, dude, like, you're so you don't know, bro, you don't even know how cool people you are. who are like, yo, I'm gonna go study abroad. Like, I was too afraid to go to college, bro. I know. That's I know. why I didn't go to college. Like, I didn't know what I wanted to study, but also like, fucking, who cares? Like, I was afraid to go away because I was afraid of being outside of my comfort zone. So I just sure. lied to my parents and told them I, I applied when I didn't. And like that's the reason why that part of my life I fucking completely missed out on. I will never get the college experience. See, I say that too. It's like I I, I hate on people sometimes that got the college when when I was younger, not anymore. Yeah, but like a part of me wish like I could have went to like a Michigan football game Fuck or like yeah, you, you know what I mean and like fucking throw a fucking uh a yeah. fucking frat brother through a wall, bro. Like, like you know like it's like a part of you. It's like we robbed ourselves of that experience. We're not gonna get robbed of other experiences exactly and so it also comes to a point where you're like at our age where you're like all right i'm done lying to myself i'm done lying and make and playing pretend and being like oh no i didn't i didn't even care or like it's because i didn't know what i wanted to study and i didn't want to spend all that money and, and right. whatever bro that wasn't it at all and you know it you like were, you were scared afraid yeah i was a scared afraid you were scared afraid boy i was scared afraid boy i love it but you I know what it. turn up Don't turn up we, we're 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 living life now, all, baby 2023 is all about the turn up it's all about the turn up. So when when you go to uh when you got uh when you go to Spain for my wedding, yeah, are you gonna turn it into like a whole trip? You yeah, should. I w- I want to do uh, Barcelona and Madrid. Actually, I don't know if I'm gonna do both. But before your wedding is on a Friday, Saturday, Saturday is it? So I'm gonna get in probably like two uh, two or three days before and probably go to like Barcelona. Go and, to the casino, but then after, walk around. after I want to go to Morocco. Oh yeah, to go to Marrakesh because it's like a two-hour flight from there. Yo, hit that shit up, bro. Uh, and the other thing too is like the one thing I'll tell you about Spain. I think it's the country that has the most like it's some of the most beautiful people I've ever seen. Oh, dude, I love hot guys. People just yeah, everyone <laughs> is hot. Yeah, it's unreal, especially when you're in Barcelona. Madrid's are is Madrid is hot too but something about barcelona i was like everyone's fucking hot here i'm the ugliest thing on the planet <laughs> that's l- legit I'm the how ugliest i felt thing on i the said planet. i'm the ugliest fucking person in the world yeah but it was awesome can't wait um uh, but yeah dude um we should do this again sometime and then um you yeah. know yeah yeah maybe on like a sunday yeah all right i guess i'm gonna go sit in two hours of traffic but yeah uh, you can go sit in two hours of traffic but before you do that um Shout out to everybody on the Patreon. Um, Joe, where can everybody find you? Uh, you guys can find me uh, at Joe Santagato on all platforms. Uh, the cranberries are here. The cranberries are here. Uh, oh, you want that? Oh, we could do that <laughs> SNL outro. Hold up. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. I'll do this. You were the you were the host. There you go. Is it going? Yeah. Thank you guys so much. The cranberries are here. Linger. That was the cranberries, right? Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. You can find me on all social media at Joe Santagato. Uh, I, I, but I can't take credit. Thank, thank you so much for, for doing a great job tonight. Love the podcast. Uh, go check out the basement yard. New project coming in the next month. It's going to be huge. You guys are going to love it. This is an exclusive. Not going to tell you what it is, though. Thank you so much. <laughs>